Do 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 do. Magic for normies. Hello, everybody. Oh. What hey. is up? Welcome. Um, my sound might be a little high, so just go ahead and let me know if it's too high. We're too damn excited. We're too excited. <laughs> I know, right? It's okay. So <laughs> it's magic for normies. It's me, Pixie Kitten. And Zuby. And Zuby. <laughs> and we're here live for a special edition live from Nashville. Woo! All right, they're saying we got to turn it down a little bit. Okay. Yo, Bobby Christine, what's up? Okay, we got to turn it down a little bit. Thank we're gonna you. We're going to be Thank loud you. as hell. We're going to be loud. We're going to be so loud. Oh, man. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll keep it there. Okay, we're keeping it there. Welcome everybody! Oh, Thank you shit. so we much. Oh shit! We just got a new sub. Oh. Thank you so much for the sub, Pat Crack Fever. The Pat Crack Fever. We know. We We know the Pat Crack Fever theme song. Yeah. We. You know what we haven't seen in a long time? What? A new Pat Crack Fever video. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell, Pat Crack Fever? We want Efren to pack some I, cracks. I need that bougie eight. K <laughs> cracking of the packs. I said pack some cracks. Pack some cracks. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, shit. What does that mean? It, oh, it could mean one of two things. Well, we're not going to elaborate on it. Okay. But right, that's, fine. we need a new pack crack fever video. Oh, shit. Oh, Are Colin O'Clog, what's up? I know, I need that 8K in my blood. Hey, oh, sledgehammer. Pat Crack, thank you for gifting the tier, the gifting the subs. Thank you. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Okay, oh, I am so sorry. Is it still too loud? Yeah, we, is it still too loud? I'll turn it down a little bit more. Is that is that better? I don't know. Is it? We're gonna whisper until you tell us that it's better. Is that better? Is that? Hi. We're we're whispering now. No, okay. No, it sounds fine. Okay, okay it sounds fine. Okay, great, 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 great. Fine, fine. We'll do, we're doing this live. Okay. We're doing this live. We're doing this live. This is live. We're in, we're here in the Pixie Can Play studio. This is amazing. Like, this is a dream come true. Yes. This is, this is a dream come true <laughs> for every content creator, you know? Right. I mean, right. why wouldn't it be? I, I mean, okay, there's, you know, getting on the Professor's channel. There's getting on Command Zone game nights. There's there's going to see Wizards, you know, HQ. Fuck all that. Okay. <laughs> Screw it. Forget it. The Pixie Kitten. Forget about it. Forget about it, all right? Forget it's about Streets of New Capenna, all right? Yeah, all right. Forget um, about it. The, the Pixie Kitten content creator house yeah. is amazing. Yeah. It's so sick. It's really sick. Um, Tear down that green screen, <laughs> Zuby. <laughs> it's oh, they think you're not really here. I'm not. Here, we'll do a high five. Boom. Yeah. Um, this is not Photoshop. Okay, so anyways, like we're so excited. We're we're just. What are we even talking about? What I are, don't even know. We we actually have a we actually have a real show to do here. Right. Um, right. We actually have stuff to talk about. We really do. Okay, so like let's just first talk about like Zuby. You're here in right? Nashville. I'm I'm actually here. You're act you actually <laughs> are here. Um. In Nashville, which you live in Florida, yep. so so normally we do this um, live stream podcast we're remotely. Mm -hmm. You're in Florida, I'm in Tennessee normally, but you're here. You are in town, and so tell us just a little bit about that, like why you're here. You're not actually here to like come to the Pixie Can Play what? studio. I mean, that's the only reason I came here. No, um, actually, it's I found out I was coming here for work. Um, God, when, when did I tell you? I think it was like back in February It or was something. a while ago, and yeah. And as soon as I found out, it's like, oh, hey, you got to go to Nashville in May. And I'm like, I immediately texted Pixie like, oh my God, guess where I'm going in May? Uh, Nashville. And you're, and you're like, you better come visit me. Yeah. Or I'm going to kill you. No, well, you I didn't mean, say that. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like you're coming to Nashville. Like, you know, of course we of course we're going to try to hang out. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah, no. So I came here, I landed here Monday and it's been work, a lot of work um, in hotel conference rooms. Yeah. And exciting. Very exciting. A lot of partying as well too. Well, um, Nashville is a party city. Yeah. It's like the oh bachelorette capital gosh, of the world. Yes. Yeah. It is. 
What? Pixie's much. camera is so good. Zuby looks weird and much higher def than normal. Yes, that is true. Do we not have the same camera? We do. So I think what it is is Discord we may do. not present the same quality. Oh, that's so. true. It's Discord's fault. Yeah. It's Discord's fault. But 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 everybody's obviously like so happy to like see you in your your full glory. So oh, right. my, So that's great. My full glory. The yeah. possible lighting too. It's yeah. It's the lighting. Yeah. Wow. We're, we're, we're just so excited to be here together. Like, we haven't even, like, um, our our last, when we did Magic for Normies two weeks ago, that was our mm -hmm. first episode after sort of, like, a hiatus where we had taken some time off for a while. Um, so we wanted we wanted to come back, and then we were doing this live one, so we're, like, coming back with a bang, baby. Like, we're here. Boom. Big deal. You think this is huge? Just wait. I just. mean, th this is... um. Oh, we've got plans. Yeah, we don't have anything else <laughs> no. extra planned. We don't. No, not yet. No. Um, but so you so you were in Nashville for work, and of course we're just yeah, like we have to hang out. Oh, of course, like oh, yeah, of course. Like nor normally the way our uh, traveling goes is, you know, we we'll, we'll be here from Monday through Thursday. Like yesterday was supposed to be the like late day where I travel back but um mm -hmm. it's it was actually no I'm taking another day or two and yeah and yeah here I yeah am. hanging out so like today we just kind of hung out you'd already seen all the Nashville sites on yeah. your work trip so we kind of hung out we played some commander oh yeah that was uh fun with the infamous Mr. Kitten we played some commander with uh, Mr. Kitten my husband and you know we're just not, we don't even want to talk about, like, who won. Well, right? I will talk about my deck, though. Oh, you know what? Go ahead. Talk about your deck. Uh, it's, a, it's a new deck for it, you. It, it's a brand new deck. I finally built Sephiris, whatever the heck it's called, um, the Dungeon Commander. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really do anything because I need to put an actual win con in it. <laughs> well, it did a lot well, it of did, things. It did a lot of stuff, but I don't have a way to win. Yeah, exactly. Um, but so, I mean, I made you all sacrifice your creatures like 20 times or something like that because I would just keep bringing back Fleshbag Marauder. Yeah. And, and um, Demon's Disciple. That too, yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, that was fun for me, making them just keep coming back over and over again. But, yeah, it was fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. I loved like sacking my creatures. Just yeah. Hey, you were playing that coin flip deck. Right? Yeah, that, yes. That was pretty fun. That got pretty uh, disgusting at some points. Well. We're yeah. not going to talk about whose deck was actually disgusting. Yeah. Moving yeah. on. And it actually wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it actually wasn't. <laughs> For so. once, it wasn't me. I think I think Colin has, has picked up on this, so. Yes. Colin knows. I think so. Anyways, moving on. So we, we played a little bit of Commander, and that game went kind of long. So yeah, it did. So we really only had time to play one game this afternoon. We made some content. Yes. We filmed some content, so... I mean, we didn't have a ton of time because, you know, you're only here for one day. But that's yeah. fine. That's great. That's wonderful. We're happy to spend that time together. But, yeah, we got some content that'll come out, I mean, maybe, like, next week or something. Yeah. So. And then if you saw the video that um, I made earlier, posted earlier mm -hmm. this afternoon, sort of like our teaser for this episode, we made that, too. That was kind of funny. If you didn't see that, go on to Twitter, either one of our Twitters, and yeah. check it out. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. It, it it was it was funny. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. So that that what that's it. That's what's going on. That's yeah, like, that's the fun. I, I will have to say some of my favorite things about Nashville. Um, downtown was actually really fun. So the Monday because we got here Monday, and normally our travel days are pretty light with work normally, but we're doing this huge work project where. Like, it's, we landed at, like, 9 a.m., got to the hotel at 10, and didn't stop working till like, 6 p.m. that night. Oh, wow. And, and then when we finally went to downtown Nashville, there was a hockey game going on, and oh, my God, it was insanely packed. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And um, so we, we just walked up and down the strip, and it, I mean, saw a lot of... A lot of stuff to see. Just walk. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Things oh, you don't. Yeah. Things maybe you don't want to see. Things yeah. that are you sure you do want to see. Whatever. You never know. A lot of cool stuff. Like the the AT and T building, kind of looked like Batman. Oh yeah, it's anything. called the Batman building. Oh, is it really? We everyone around here calls it the Batman building. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. dang. That's yeah, because cool. it's just got like the little yeah. the little like Batman ears. Yep. 
We and, all call it the Batman building. And then Tuesday, we went and saw the the Greek Parthenon. Yes. So it's this Parthenon. So if you don't know what this is, it is like a, they tried to make it a one-for-one one recreation of the original Parthenon that... What, what did the original one, like, burn down or something at some point? Or I, I, I don't know. I Google also it. don't know. But um, <laughs> it was it was really, really neat. I, I did post some pictures on my Twitter, and I'll try to post some more of the ones I put I took. And I yeah. I thought it was awesome. Like, yeah. just the architecture of it, just all the carvings of the statues, and it was awesome. I've never seen it. And you've lived here. I li- for- I've lived here for 10 years. I've never seen it. You know, it's like you don't yeah, go to the sites yeah. in your own city. I oh, mean, I know. What come you mean. on, it's, it's just you just don't. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, I know what you mean. Yeah, it, it happens. So if you Google Batman Building and Auto Fails Nashville, yeah, it is literally a Batman Building. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, the Grand Old Opry is here. Yeah. Oh no, we we didn't see that or anything. I mean, it's like, what is there to see? Like, I don't, I don't really, I, I don't know what it I is. don't really even care about that. But so, so then yesterday we did the Jack Daniels whiskey tour of right. how they make the Jack Daniels um alcohol, yeah, and all that, and that was really, really awesome. That was really cool. Like, I have no interest in learning how alcohol is made or anything, but yeah, but just a lot of the history of how it was made, yeah. And, and you get to see the process of them making it. I was pretty fascinated. It's neat. Yeah, like, it's, it's a neat little thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a nice tour. The, at the end of the tour, you got to taste some of like the different brands of whiskey. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to ask me if I tried any? Did you try any? Hell no. No? Why? Um, the night before was... I know why. I know. An insane party night. Um. I'll have to show you some of the videos after the oh, show. Oh, um, God. No, it, it's nothing bad. It's Do just, I even want to see? No, it, it's really nothing bad. But okay. it's um. there's a reason why my voice is a little different than normal. It's because we saw a live band, and I have many videos of the live band. Oh. And I was screaming the top of my lungs there, uh, just singing with them mm-hmm. and all that. And it, What were they playing? What kind of music were they playing? Oh, like everything. Like all the good 80s, 90s songs. And gotcha. Like Queen, REM oh. Speedwagon, okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, everything. Michael Jackson and all that. Oh, stuff. wow. Like freaking a- 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 every great song you could imagine. For all of the most popular songs yeah. that everybody knows. Yeah. Oh, cool. That sounds like fun. Did they play Get Low? I fucking wish. <laughs> I, I did drunkenly ask the lead singer if they would play um, Meatloaf Paradise by the Dashboard Light. She said no, though. Oh, okay. She's probably, she probably also wondered, why is this fucking drunk dude coming near me? That probably happens to her all the time. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I didn't do anything bad. I was just like, I want yeah. you to play Meatloaf. I want you to play Meatloaf. She was like, yeah, we can't. No, can't. no we can't do that. Can't. Yeah. Hey, who's saying hi? Zub? I can't see the name. It's hard to see the names from. It's... To, it's hot, to hot sauce. To hot sauce. Hi. Um, that's um 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 from if lands could kill. Hi to uh, hot sauce. Yeah. Um. Oh shoot. Which one is that from if lands could kill? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. That that was so so. The, the, the their podcast isn't around, but when I first got into Magic with Zuby, yeah, there was another podcast called If Lands Could Kill. Yeah, it's like it was four dudes just all, you know, talking magic, but it was. It was one of the most chill, relaxing podcasts. It was, they're, they're kind of like us. Like, yeah. You know? and normies. It, no, normies. Yeah. And it, they were just, they were like my favorites Aww. there. Like, but they stopped doing their show a while ago because, you know, things happen. People yeah. move apart and all that stuff. Yeah. But it was, it was sad to see them go like, I, that was like the one magic podcast I'd listen to Aww. all the time. Well, hey, well, hey there, Tea Hot, tea hot Sauce. Yo. <laughs> so it sounds like you've had a good time in Nashville. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it was um surprisingly I enjoyed it more than I thought. Yeah. Like, and I knew nothing about Nashville before here. Well, now you know that it is like just this party city. It really is. It really is. Like, yeah, it's it, wild. It, I don't know why. It, it, it is, and um, it's like not even a college town. Like I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. That, that, that was that was a weird one. It was yeah. um. Oh, and I did try Nashville hot chicken. Uh huh. Uh huh. What'd you think? It's okay. Yeah. It's, it, it was hyped up for me so much where I'm just like, it's okay. 
yeah, maybe your expectations were too high. Maybe. And you were, and then you eat it, and you're like, this is literally just chicken. That's that's hot. That's like, hot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't do the hot chicken either, but pe- some people just love it. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. It's not my thing, but whatever. I've had better chicken. Dang. Don't tell Nashville. God will Nashville, crucify me. Nashville's going to get you. Right? Yeah. Um. So anyways, we didn't put this on our list, but like, do you have anything, do you have any like updates for your own content? Anything coming up? Oh, wait, Ooh. there was something that, oh, we forgot to put on here. I know you do have oh, something coming yeah, up. Oh, yeah, we both do. Yeah, we both do. And it do. finally got announced today. Um, yes. We both have a Commander Legends D&D preview card coming. Yes, we've each got a preview card for, what is it, Baldur's Gate? The, the, what's the What's name? it even called? It's something Baldur's Gate, I don't know. This is terrible. We should know this. We, we actually have We're professional. Cards. Battle for Baldur's Gate. Battle for but ba- I knew Battle for that. Baldur's Gate. I knew that. I, I have an eyelash in my eye. I'm I totally, sorry if I keep touching I totally it. I totally knew that. That it was Battle for Baldur's Gate. Well, I said Baldur's Gate. So, like, I was at least... Yeah, we were halfway there. We were halfway there. Living Anyways. The yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. Song? Yep, I'm sure you did. <laughs> so, anyways, we each have a preview card to reveal for that set. This is very exciting. What day is yours? I am revealing mine on May the 18th, so next week. Ooh. Yeah. So that's next Wednesday coming up. Next Wednesday, that's right. Can you tell us anything about your preview card? Yes, I can. I can Ooh. tell you that it's a magic card. Boom. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I... You know what? I've got one too. Mine's coming out. Um, shit. What day was it again? Oh, hold on. I gotta look at the email. I, I for- saw your. I tweet. forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was the twenty sixth. I saw your tweet. Yes, the twenty sixth. I totally remembered that. Yeah. Um, and that's that's what two weeks from here. Um, yeah. And I uh, I can tell you a little something about my card. Give yeah. you a little hint. Okay. It is a card you can play. In vintage. Whoa! Because every card is legal go. and vintage. Every card Boom. is legal and vintage. There you go. Awesome. I will say. Okay, I'll give another hint about okay. my card. Okay, 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 okay. It doesn't have the mechanic anti. It doesn't have the mechanic anti. Mm. Do, do you know what that is? Nope. So, <laughs> all right, boom, boomer magic time. Oh right here. boy. Bo- bo- boomer magic. Um. So anti was a mechanic. That fur was a thing in like the very first edition of Magic, where when you and a friend would play Magic, you would put up a card for anti. Like so, whoever won the game would get the card that the other person put up. Like so, you're like you're gambling your card. In in a sense, yeah. So so let's say you put up a a black lotus and you put up a you know a soul ring. Yeah. Or something like if and if you beat me, you get my black lotus, and or if I beat you, I get your soul ring. Why would anybody? do that i mean you gotta remember cards weren't worth a lot at that point when it first came out gotcha it didn't really matter back then it was the top card of your deck if i remember correctly i I think you're right that's what food time is saying wow that's funny i would never do that hey misplay or mental misplay yo Yo. what's up hi everybody all of y'all we got all the amazing people coming out yes all of our friends food time colin efren baltan um, hot sauce we saw bobby christine yeah we We just have awesome people sledgehammer sledgehammer yes see see what's hard what's hard to see is while we're like trying to look is (laughs) like there's a blue in the chat window, like when yeah. someone's name is blue, we, we can't, we can't see, see it. can't see it. Yeah, I'm like, hold on, hammer. We're both like these old people. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are they saying there? That 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 face is like for sure going to be what I put like on the cover of this video when oh, I put God. the VOD on YouTube. Oh, God. All oh, the no. stars are out tonight. All the stars. You can change your color? <gasps> Food time, change your How color. How do you do Thank that? You. That's I don't, I have no I didn't know idea. that was a thing. I have no idea. It shows how much I know about Twitch. Yeah, I know. I don't know shit. Um, Efren, also, like, specifically, we're, we're so glad you're here because I know it's your yes. wife's birthday and you were going to be, ha- you were going to have plans and you thought you weren't going to be able to make it. And also, you can tell her that we said happy birthday. The normie said happy birthday. 
Happy birthday, Pat Crack, Mrs. Pat Crack Fever. Happy birthday, Mrs. Crack Fever. This is crack fever. <laughs> Damn, that sounds I'm bad. I'm just doing the last name. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Nope. No. Nope. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. Where are my show notes? Oh, damn. Where are my show notes? Okay, so we were talking about our preview card. So that's very exciting. Yeah. Um, And oh. I'm really looking forward to that set, honestly. Yeah, like we had so much fun with the first Commander's Commander Legends Commander Legends set. loved it. Loved like, it. Like we, we did the, the four-person sealed game. I think it was you, me, Baltan, and Colin doing it we got to do it again for this next yes. set. like we have to yes. I, it, it's what sucks is when it comes out i'll be in vegas oh when it comes out well we can do it like a week yeah, yeah, later after. no yeah, big yeah, deal yeah. it just sucks because it's like i want to be there for it yeah you know? like right when it comes out like, i won't be able to go to the pre-release or anything and oh but well i i have like mo- multiple commander decks that the commander is a legendary from Commander Legends. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot. Like, I actually have a lot. It, I it Like, Jury. A, it was a fun set. Yeah, Jury was good. And I have Cole Fenor. Oh, the tree the tree dude. Uh-huh. And then uh, the the deck I made for Mr. Kitten, Quain, the oh, rabbit. God, yeah, God. we're not going to talk about that. No we're not going to talk about that. that. We're not going to talk about that friggin' deck. And then um, I've got another one, Hans. Hans oh, Erickson. Was that from Commander Legends? I believe so. Oh, Wow. I have so many. So yeah, I'm like, I'm like so. Yeah, you really liked it then. I'm like so into that set, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm looking forward to the D&D one for oh sure. Oh my God, yeah. so am I. It's like the last D&D set, I, I, yeah. I bought so much of it. It, it was, was great. So freaking good. Yeah. And this one's shaping up to, like I'm pretty excited about my preview card. Like it is a really good one. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty Good. excited about it, so I'm well, going to do cool. something special for it. Ooh. I'll probably just make a video, like a like yeah. a dumb little video, like I always do. So It'll be good, though. Yeah, y- Your dumb good. little videos are great. <laughs> Thank you. So next Wednesday, be on the lookout for mine. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. So as far as any other content updates, um, so we're going to try to oh. film... Mm-hmm. The next episode of D and D for Normies next week, if mm-hmm. we can. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. And then, so that'll be coming back. Yeah, and then I have a interview or two for Magic with Zuby, but that's about it. Oh, I am gonna. I think I mentioned it before. I am gonna try to go to Command Fest, uh, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I think I said this before. I'm actually gonna be in Vegas the weekend they're doing Command Fest Vegas, but I can't go. Oh. <laughs> like I will not. Be able to go, and that sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Because I'll be there for work. Oh. Yeah. I know. Like, Vegas is, like, the big one, right? Everybody yeah, goes to yeah. that one. So, yeah, that really sucks. But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, it is what it is. It Life happens. It does. But I'm going to try to go to Philadelphia. I'm going to... I think I'm going to try to book the flight when I get home this nice. weekend. Hi, Data Storm. Hey, Data Storm. What's going on? All right, Welcome. Data Storm. Is it Data or Data? It, for me, it's data, like from Star Trek. Or is it data, just like dat, like dat, data? It's data. Like information, like like information. Data. I never say data. It's always all it's data. I think it's always data, unless you're specifically data? talking about the character named Data. So he says it like Star Trek. So data. Oh, okay. All right, Data Storm. There you go. Yeah. I'll I'll fix that. I'm. No, sorry. it's fine. I'm just. <laughs> I am so sorry, Data Storm. I've been saying your name wrong like literally forever. Technically not, because it's still data and data are technically both correct. It's kind of like if you say GIF or GIF. You mean GIF? It's a GIF. Well, I said both. I know, but it's a GIF. But it's actually GIF, though. Oh my God! Here we go. I because, feel like we've had this argument a lot well, before. Well, it's because the creator of the file says it's GIF. Well, creators can be wrong. Oh, what? What? <laughs> no, they can't. It's okay for people to be wrong. No, creators aren't people, okay? They're not regular people. Oh, damn. Are, are we not people? Because we, we, we're, we're, we're kind of creators. Yeah, right? I know. I'm kidding. I don't people. know. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're not people. Real. We're not real. We're not humans. My name is Data. Sorry, Data. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Just kidding. We're people. Um. Yeah, so what are we talking about? Why are we talking about Star Trek? Because it's amazing. Okay. 
it's pretty good. I've never like really been super into Star Trek, but I like whatever I have seen, which is kind of not much. But I like what I have seen. I, I, I love it. That's great. Oh, good. That's great. Good for you. Mm-hmm. So let's so let's I guess get into our topic. Oh, I don't really have anything going on. I, I like as far as my content goes. Mm-hmm. It would like like I have the preview card coming out next week, and then you know just regular stuff. I don't have anything big or special. This was kind of like my big thing. This. Yeah. We've actually been planning this for like months. Like I've been dying to tell somebody else, yeah. you know, like in the magic community, like, oh my God, this is happening. But <laughs> yeah, it just, I didn't tell anybody like I was going to Nashville at all except you. Yeah, I and, know. And, then, and then I know I teased um, like on Monday, like I'm in Nashville. Right. And I know some of the people here, like Baltan Efren, you knew right away. <laughs> what was happening yes it's you know of course I, I tried to play it off like no i'm flying back today but you know? zuby you're a bad liar yeah i know it's okay that's a good thing yeah. being a bad liar is a good thing sometimes i guess they, they're they still talking about a data oh, storm snap. here in the chat they're data still talking about data storm Data for normies. Or is it data for normies? Mr. Kitten didn't even know. He was like, what the fuck is Zuby doing here? <laughs> yeah, I showed, like, that video you saw. Like, that was real. That was real. Yeah, that video was real. Ding dong. Pixie was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Why is the internet man in my house? Why is the internet <laughs> Well, funny story is that I actually met Mr. Kitten on the internet on World of Warcraft. Yeah, So it's actually not that weird for us. I know. I got to hear the whole story. Yeah. It was cute. I yeah. liked it because we went to a little barbecue place for lunch. Yeah. Called, what, what was it called again? Slick Pigs. Oh, God. It's such a weird name. Slick Pigs. Go <laughs> on down really? to the Slick Pigs. Try it out. It, it was on the main street of this town that was like, the main street was probably like a thousand feet long. Yeah. That's about it. Welcome to Tennessee. If it's not Nashville, that's what no, the no, rest no, of that Tennessee is Nashville. like. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. It was it was kind of sloppy. It was barbecue, it was, but it, but it was, was good. good. It was yeah, good though, no, it, well, it, sure. it was a better barbecue than what I had um, a couple nights ago. I don't remember the name of the place, but it was like it wasn't bad. Yeah, but it's like I've definitely had better. Yeah, you know. What I well, mean? around here, it's like everybody has a barbecue place. Oh it's just God. like there's barbecue everywhere. It, it, it's it's such a, like a southern thing too because yes. I hear all the time like when I went to Texas last year. You know, it's all like, oh, Texas barbecue is the best because we do it this way. Oh, or, yeah. Or no, Tennessee barbecue. No, Georgia barbecue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I don't freaking know. It... Everybody can have good barbecue. It can. And you know what else? It all kind of tastes the same. It all does. It does. It all kind of tastes the same. Are there any Cajun restaurants here? Not uh, that I know of. I didn't see any. I don't. Not. Yeah, no. Not that I know no. of. I doubt it. There probably could be there could one be. somewhere. But. Maybe I've never I've never been to one here. If there is oh, one. we went to um this Greek uh, restaurant for lunch one day, and I had some euros and oh, and um, holy crap, that was good. I don't know, are you into Mediterranean food or anything? I don't I don't eat it a ton, so like not really. I guess I mean I like it, but I don't yeah. I don't eat a lot at all. It's um it's good. Like that, that's one thing that I'm loving about Florida and like the past like five years or so there's been like this explosion of like greek and turkish food just starting to pop up a lot of a lot of other mediterranean places and Mm -hmm. um because you know like you never get to experience that type of food a lot of times because in most places you you get the the same old you know italian yeah you know something asian something Whoops, it's one of my alarms. <laughs> um, you know, something Asian, uh-huh. like Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, sure. or even Thai, or Vietnamese. Which uh-huh. I'm not saying they all taste the same, but, you know, it's the, the... I feel like there's... Lately, there's been more of an explosion of Middle Eastern food and Mediterranean food, where it's... I don't know. I, That's I, I cool. I freaking love it. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I haven't eaten it a ton, but, you know, whatever I've had, it's it is just good. It's just different, different things to try. Good to try different things. Yeah. It's good. Um, what are the sides for your barbecue? Oh, so many sides. So many options. Um, my two go-tos are usually 
<laughs> something Indiana Jones. Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. So my go-to sides are baked beans and green beans. Mm, oh, double beans, huh? Or or sometimes I'll do baked beans and collard greens or green beans and collard greens. Oh, wow. Like I, I, it, it, it all depends. Like, I'm super picky on collard greens because, mm. you know, if they're, you know, just shit. Then mm-hmm. You can get bad You can get yeah. bad collard greens. That's that's a thing. What about you? What about I like you? mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like baked beans, typically. Yeah. Yeah, those good. are those are kind of my go-tos right there. Yeah. So what's the Indiana Jones thing? So that is the so it's an alarm I have for, you know, for one of my kids. Yeah. Um, but the Indiana Jones theme it is, so. It is one of the only songs that will wake me up guaranteed from uh, from like dead sleep. Oh my gosh. Like there there's other alarm sounds like and I've tried a lot like over the years of just. Stuff that will wake me up and all that. And you just sleep through it? Sometimes or I just, or like, I don't know, just something with it just doesn't get me. And I, and I hate those, you know, the alarms like, eh, 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 oh, yeah. like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But the bad. Indiana Jones, it's, it's enough of wakes me up where it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Me, you know It's not I mean? like jarring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's funny. So. No potato salad. I like potato salad, but I there are a lot of potato salads that I don't like. And at a restaurant, it's kind of like you never know if it's good a potato salad or bad potato salad. I don't like potato salad. Oh, you don't? No, I don't like it. Oh, I do like potato salad, but I just feel like it can be so sketch. So I never get it out. Oh, you know what I tried for the first time this week? What? A crab cake. I've never had a crab cake before. You've never had a crab cake before? No. Oh. And well, it you was think? really, really, really good. Yeah, crab cakes like, are good. I, I don't know. I've just never had one. and mm. Like, I'm not huge into seafood and all that, but it was, like, good. Like So we went to this place you called... You live in Florida. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, the, the, if I go to eat seafood somewhere, the only kind of seafood I'll eat will be grouper or shrimp. Oh. Like, I don't really ever eat anything else. I don't like lobster, and I've tried lobster many times. And for whatever reason, I just don't like it. I've, I've tried it. Hey, and, you gave it a chance. That's and, all that anyone can ask. Yeah. Like, and, like, if I'm feeling feisty, you know, I could eat oysters or whatever, but I'm not. I'm not big into seafood, so yeah, I can't I'm, really say much. Yeah, I can't. Um, you haven't had good potato... I've had good potato salad. Oh, you... Oh, that was you saying you didn't like potato salad. Yeah, I didn't like Yeah, that. that's what I'm telling you. Like, it can be so hit or miss. You gotta get a good potato salad, for sure. Only homemade potato salad is good, though, and it really depends. Yeah. Food yeah. time gets it. Food time gets it. Yeah. Floridian never had a crab cake. I can't believe it. There are no crabs in Florida. Fact. <laughs> is that true? No. I oh. remember I told you that story of like oh, I, yeah, I used to go ca- catch crabs as a kid and Colin, you're tricking me. I believed you. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, Colin. How could you? No, it's just you know, growing up, there's some foods that just look gross, and a crab cake just never looked appealing to me. But so you just never yeah, tried one. Never wanted to try it, but yeah. I was like. I want to go try this crab cake, and I tried it, and yeah. hey, that's not bad. That's good. Um, food time's got to go. Thank you so much well, for hanging out. Thank you, food out. time. Bye, food time. Bye, food time. Get the, the, or how do I do this? Yeah, there we go. Woo. Um, yeah, so let's let's get into our topics for the Woo. night, because we right. do have some stuff that we're planning on talking God, we're about. We're like 40 minutes into this. Boom, we I haven't know. even gotten into it. I know, it's That's fine. all right, though. This is like a special episode. This is special. It's probably going to go a little bit longer, but, you know. Well, even if we don't talk, even if we, like, you know, don't talk about this stuff super long, we have three games to play tonight, folks. Ooh, what's that? And it is, they're all very heavily chat-based, too. Yeah. So we got to make sure you all play our games tonight at the end. They're fun. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We have we have and, some good games. And even you at home, uh, who may be listening to audio or watching the VOD, can play along, too. Sure. Absolutely. Just leave your comments in the video later. Heck yeah. Do it. 
Okay, so our first topic of the night um, is we're, we're, I just kind of wanted to talk about, so May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I just wanted to maybe just have a little chat about how gaming and hobbies or like, you know, even like D&D or whatever, how does that help with with mental health? Like, do you think those things can help with your mental health? Has it helped you personally? That sort of thing. Um, I, I think, I think that having gaming hobbies is great. I mean, as long as it's, as long as you're doing it in a healthy way and, mm-hmm. and you're not like overindulging or whatever, then I think they're great for your mental health. I mean, yeah. you know, playing games, you're obviously like thinking and using your brain and a lot of times you're getting the social interaction. That's great. Um, and it's just kind of a way to like relax and decompress. I oh, think yeah, for sure. I think gaming is great for mental health. Oh yeah, and like you said, as long as you take it in a healthy manner. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I just look at my journey in magic. Right. It's um, it's if I never got into if I never got back into magic during. Like, when Return to Ravnica came back out, I never would have done any content, never would have met you and Mr. Kitten and mm-hmm. so many of the other awesome people in our chat yeah. as well, too. And, you know, so it's been great, and it it does help, and especially the social aspect, it mm-hmm. makes it better. And Yeah, for sure. And it's just, and plus it's just fun. And, and what's great about gaming and hobbies, you know, regardless of what is, like, magic or video games. Yeah. Or, or tabletop games. Yeah. It's, it's, it can bring all walks of life together. Mm-hmm. And so you have that one thing in common. And even though you may have nothing else in common outside of that, but it really helps you meet other kinds of people and yeah. just get different perspective on things too. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, Data Storm says, as long as you don't DM, it's good for your mental health. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I guess I shouldn't DM anymore. Well, I know DMing is, I'm sure, a lot of work. I've never it done be, it. Yeah, it can be. But I, I don't know. We're gonna get you to do it one day. We're, I, I. Me? Yes. Why? I think you would enjoy it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It, it, it can be fun. Like, tr- trust me, it's, it, well, it's very stressful, and, and you, you know, you don't have to be perfect with the rules. Yeah. And all that, but I think. I think I mean, we could get you to do it one day. Yeah, I mean, I think it sounds like fun, but there's just so much like prep work involved to it. Sometimes depends. Depends and on what you want to do, right? Really, it's um, or you want to do like a whole campaign or a one shot or yeah, I guess or it, even do something from a book. It's, yeah, we're not we we're not letting D and D for normies fall apart. No, we we, are we not. just we just said earlier we're supposed to get back to our filming. On this Next upcoming week. Wednesday. Yes. yes. So we're de- we're definitely doing that. And we, we're we definitely going to finish that out for sure. Yeah. yeah, we've had to take a hiatus, but we're definitely doing that. Because that's been really fun. I've really enjoyed doing that. Yes, yes, that's been a lot of fun. Ton of work. Um, yeah. This so, that's, this is what Data is saying. Yeah. It, 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 it can. I mean, I, I wouldn't say, like, DMing is bad for your mental health. I mean, yeah. but it also, it depends, like, if you try to DM for just random people oh like yeah that, be, that would be stressful i've done it before I'm not interested in doing that again how did that work out you just like show up at an lgs and other people show up at an lgs and you're yeah. just like hey we're gonna do a campaign yeah sometimes you kind of don't have a choice because it's so, so so when i was doing it with random people the lgs i was going to at the time um you know they wanted to try to get the D scene happening more so i offered you know to like DM yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. And so that means, you know, I got a few little extra perks. Like I got to play for free, you know, some like little free snacks and drinks. So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, small yeah. stuff. But, you know, I'm trying to help build the community here. Yeah. And it's, I met a lot of great players, but there's those, some people that are just, you know, the horror stories that you hear about. Yeah. Those. And, and even people who cheat in D&D. How like, do you cheat in D&D? You, you lie about your roles? Yeah. Or, or you lie about something your character can do. And, and to me, that doesn't make 
any sense to me. Yeah, like, that's why so would you? Why? Like, I understand cheating in magic because you know there's could be a financial gain for it, but cheating in D and D. Yeah, there's nothing there's at nothing stake. To gain. Who yeah. cares? People that, care. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's so silly. It is. Anyways, it's important to take care of your mental health. And if gaming helps you do that, good. Keep it up. Yeah. If gaming is bad for your mental health, then stop. Take a break. Yeah. It's always, you know, because I think we can all get through those times where playing that game can frustrate you to no end, whether it may, whatever it may be. Yeah. And that's also good to know, like, take a break. Yeah. Go read a book. Go touch some grass. Go touch some grass and... Yeah. I mean, we joke about that, but it is sometimes good to walk away from it. Oh, yeah. And, for sure. You know, try take, to, it'll gain you some perspective, too. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah. For sure. Yo, that's important. Yo. I'm representing the dice today. <laughs> cough, cough, Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never even tried to play any of those games because I know they would be really bad for my mental health. Yeah. Not my style. Mm. I don't like really difficult games. They're like made to be so hard. You're supposed to die like over and over and over again. Yeah, I never played Dark Souls, but I did play the Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. Oh yeah, God, I know. You liked that. Freaking amazing. Mr. Kitten likes it too. He plays it all the time. It's um, It's an amazing game. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's great. So let's talk about some magic stuff. Yeah, there was a huge announcement just yesterday. Just yesterday. My God, like I was, I was so busy yesterday that I barely like got time. I have not even gone through it all. Like all I I, know, all I know is the first thing we're going to be talking about, and that's the um, Warhammer. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. So I'm gonna share my screen here, and we're just gonna like look at this whole news article because there was a whole big i think there was like a a live stream yesterday about all this stuff too. okay okay but yeah yeah probably i I didn't i missed all of that yeah yeah Yeah, so the first thing is the new magic the gathering universe is beyond it's warhammer 40k do you say 40,000 i think people say warhammer 40k i think the common thing is warhammer 40k so i think for both of us we know nothing about Warhammer, right? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't know anything about. Not it. a thing. I. The only thing I know is there's two different versions of Warhammer. There's the regular Warhammer, which is like the more fantasy version of Warhammer. I, I guess it's closer to like Warcraft, right? Um, like that kind of fantasy. Style. Okay. Okay. But then there's Warhammer okay. 40k, which is in space. Or something with aliens. Oh, that's and... right. There is some space stuff. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is what Warhammer 40K is. This is the space one. Gotcha. And everybody listening who probably knows a lot about Warhammer is probably cringing for yeah. what we're saying. I, I just, I never got into it. I've seen people play it and it looks interesting, but I just have no in- interest in like getting into it. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how many, how many different gaming hobbies can you have? Sometimes yeah. you just can't have too many. Like, have you ever seen Warhammer be played before? Uh, mm -mm. It's so, you have like these figures, like, you know, small figures. Yes. And like, you build armies or something, and then Mm -hmm. you and a friend have, and I've seen the boards too, it's like crazy, like they, it's like a city street or something, and they have these big armies, and you and your opponent have to defeat each other's armies. I don't know how they do that or anything, but, and they, Interesting. I've, I've heard that people can say games can last like... One game can be like three to four hours long or something. Oh, so like ADH? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, but, so it looks like um, this it, this will be coming out on August the 12th. What exactly is it? Uh-huh. It's going to be the release... Oh, the release of four commander decks and three secret lair drops. Oh, shit. Whoa. Both the releases bring the grim dark lore iconic art and warring factions of the warhammer 40k universe into magic's multiverse new commanders never before seen special surge foil and beautiful art okay so this is the first look oh at the warhammer stuff so who's that person does anyone in chat know who that is that that person looks Cool. They've got like the laser sword. Yeah. Like, I, I'm pointing is, at the screen like people on the. The laser. The, oh, the, oh, my is mouse it, isn't even visible. Is that not a laser sword? 
It, it, like it kind of looks like sword. a laser yeah, sword. And then he's got like a giant claw. Yes. Like If anyone in chat can tell us who they are, they look cool. Yeah. I, I don't know. But we don't know who they are. So, so okay, so these are the magic, so these so, are the commander decks. So, Tyranid? Tyr the, yes. I don't know. Yes, Tyranid Swarm. Tyranid Swarm. And then what's... The oh, this is a collector's edition. Yeah, what is, so I, I was seeing that too, like, what is the collector's, does whoa, it mention what whoa. the... Oh, it doesn't say anything here. It's just, a, I, I guess it's just got all fancier art. So, so Baltan says that's definitely a chaos marine. Oh. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what that means. It's Joe, it's Joe Swordwaver. Oh, okay. That's who it is. Boom. Okay, got it. Boom. Thank you, Aaron. Um, Tyranid for life. So Tyranid is, oh my God, that's Teamer. Okay. Yep. So they're Teamer then. Swarm, that sounds like, I don't know, oh, maybe. Oh, so similar, similar to Zergs from Starcraft. You know StarCraft, right? No. What? Mm -mm. You know World of Warcraft, but not StarCraft. Yes. That's okay. accurate. <laughs> okay. That was an accurate statement. All right, so they're bugs. That uh, They're like a bug alien race. Ew, no, ew. So then you will Hate not it. like Tyranids nope. at all. Nope, nope. Hate it. So the next one is Forces of the Imperium. They're Ooh, Esper. Esper. Ooh, no. So are they the humans? Are Imperium the humans then? Boo. Maybe. Kind of looks like it. Oh, Possibly. Necron Dynasties. Are they, Ooh, is that a mono robot? Black. Oh, Mono yeah, Black. Or, is that a of. robot? Yeah, there's like a face here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And what's the next one? The Ruinous Powers. That's Grixis. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and this card is, has been like revealed. Can we get like a close-up of that card? No, we... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, can. here we go. Abaddon the Despoiler. Okay. Okay. Read what it does. It has Trample. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Mark of Chaos Ascendant. During Ooh, your turn, spells you cast from your hand with mana value X or less have Cascade. Oh, where shit. X is a total amount of, your, of life your opponents have lost this turn. That's crazy. So, so... You want to play X spells in your hand, yes. but you want to make sure your opponent's lost. So maybe you do that in second phase, uh -huh. right? Because, you know, you attack with them. X and must have Cascade. Oh, wow. Where X is the total amount of life your opponents have lost this turn. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, th this, I'm interested to see how this gets built because that's a really <laughs> weird one. Yeah. What in the Grixis is this? Great right? question. Oh, Necrons are space skeletons? What? What? Where what? does it say that? Uh, uh, Baltan was saying that. Oh, okay. That's your Astartes. Astartes? Is that how you say it? Astartes, your space marines and such? Oh, that's an Astartes warrior. So is that a space marine? Sure. Sure. So is it, this is one of the cards in that same deck. I guess so. Blood for the Blood God. Ooh. Ooh. It's eight double black and red. Oh my gosh. And, yeah, that's expensive. So this spell costs one less to cast for each creature that died this turn. Okay. Oh, there you go. Discard your hand, then draw eight cards. This card deals eight damage to each opponent, and then you exile it. Oh, damn. Whoa, that's cool. So you do that on a board wipe, and Oof. you pay three mana, and Ooh. draw eight draw cards. Draw eight cards? Deal that's, eight damage to each opponent? That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's an instant. Uh-huh. Oh, dang. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. I guess that's like a thing. Creepy. I don't know. I don't know it, but it seems cool. Oh, it says right here, this is the battle cry for the Warhammer 40k Chaos Legions of Korn and his followers. Korn? Korn like, like the band? Like on the cob? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or is the name Corny? Oh, it could be Corny. It could be Corny. Corny. The yeah. Chaos Legions of Corny. Corny and his followers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool, Oh, God, cool. there's probably so many Warhammer people listening. They're like, oh, my God, these fucking normies, man. <laughs> they don't know anything. Yep. Nope. I, I really don't know nope. anything. We sure don't. Okay, and we have Vanguard Suppressor. Um, this has Squad 2. It's an additional cost to cast a spell. You may pay to any number of times. When this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. Ooh. What? 
Ooh. Flying. Suppressing fire. When Vanguard Suppressor deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As an additional cost to cast the spell, you may pay two any number of times. Yeah. And it creates copies of it. Yeah. What? Yeah. So if you know, so if you pay, so if you paid five in a blue, you then you cast it one. and you get a copy. Yeah. What? That's wild. That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Oh man, that if you have a crap ton of mana, that's gonna get out of hand. Yeah. Oof. Oh, and we've got fabricate. Fabricate? Is, isn't that go. a reprint? I believe so. Oh, it's it's a promo card. It won't appear in the Commander decks, but you can get your hands on it if you go to your local game store and launch day. Oh, it's a promo card. Okay, cool. Neat. Oh, dang. Well, that's cool. I mean, even even though I'm, like, not into Warhammer 40k, like, I love Commander, so Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, obviously interested in these Commander decks, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's... It's and and, and you know the good. thing with Warhammer 40k, like, even though I think it's space, it kind of feels like it fits with Magic, you know? Oh, for sure. Or at least sure. for what we've seen so far. Yeah, for sure. It's, but I'm gonna feel so lost. Like this is probably how people feel who don't know anything about D and D. Oh yeah. Like I don't. When know. the D and D sets come out, they're yeah. like, I don't know who this is. That's gonna be me. I don't know who Astartes is. Yeah, no or idea. The 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 corny legions of chaos. Yeah, yeah, corny. Corny. Corny seems like a pretty cool character, well, though. Have, did, oh, sorry. I got something in my eye. Is there <laughs> anything where they mention, like, what the co- collection commander decks are? What what are those? Um, I didn't see it anywhere on on that. Okay. And and honestly, then this goes into the next topic, like Double Masters. Double so. Masters, which is, I think that's just another reprint set, right? I think it, well, oh, wait a second. I think I saw Colin said something about it up here. Collector's Editions has the special art in foil. Oh, if that's the only thing yeah. about it, then I don't care. Yeah. Surge foil, foil for bro. all the horns. Yeah. I mean, but that's probably going to be for like the, the real, um, Warhammer enthusiasts. Yeah, and all sure. That. They'll want the I don't want to be interested editions. in just that's the normal cool. ones. Yeah, same. So that's cool. Um, yeah. It said the pre- the previews for that begin on July 26th. That's cool. So, yeah, okay. Late, late summer. Nice. So our so the next thing that was announced was Double Masters 2022 arriving July 8th. Okay. Oh, dang. Holy crap. Um, exciting features of the original Double Masters released in 2020. Fan favorite cards are available again in boosters, many featuring amazing new artwork. Ooh. The return of powerful and legendary cards for your next commander and eternal format decks. Ooh. And it's packed, each booster is packed with two rare and or mythic cards, plus two foil cards. Whoa. Oh, dang. I think I bought only like one or two Double Masters packs before. I didn't do the Double Masters, yeah. Like I, j- just to say I bought one or two, you know, because they were pretty expensive. I don't think I got any of the Double Masters. I'm trying to remember like what the set symbol is for that. I if I don't even know. I, I don't think I got any Double Master stuff at all yeah, I when it remember. came out. But It was know. just, I just remember like drafts because I wanted to do a draft, but... The LGS near me was like, it's going to be $90 for a draft. I'm oh like, my God, oh, yeah. hell no. I know. Well, that, no. well, that's what it's saying right here. And like before, Double Master 2022 offers a unique premium draft experience. I'm not going to pay $90 for a draft. Sorry. There you go. Oh, Pack Crack Fever, I Crack 3 VIP editions. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking. I maybe I just lived vicariously through uh, Pack Crack Fever. You're going to have to do I that again. Up. Efren, Maybe know. I thought I opened up cards and it was just really watching him. Yeah, it was. Because that's how real though that his work is. It's like, yes. it's so real and personal. It's like you're the one opening the packs. That 8K bougie. We really need, we really need some more Pack Crack yeah, Fever we need, we need more Pack Crack Fever here. But that's not all to expect with Double Masters 2022. Previews begin June 16th. Oh, dang. Wow, that's like just a little more I know, than a month. Right? Yeah, just about a month. <gasps> Unicorn Fluff bought two boxes. Oh, oh God. shoot. Okay. Oh my gosh, this bum here, how mad were you? That's that must have been so expensive. I know, right? Okay, so I guess this is the set symbol for okay. Double Masters 2022. 
Oh, it's um Anna Matu. A- Anna Matu? Yeah. Yeah, she was the um commander, the planeswalker commander. Yes. That's cool. And oh, Liliana. Liliana. Okay. Nice. So does that mean we're gonna get a new card of her or is it just all reprints? <gasps> Don't, Don't know. know. Pack rack fever, thank you for oh, the gift dang, of sub. Thank you. Um okay. So, oh, there's going to be collector's boosters. I don't think there were collector's boosters for the first Double well, Masters. Well, he said he just had VIP boxes oh. or whatever, so I think Oh, that's were. right. Yeah, he did say that. Huh. Everywhere, every rare and mythic rare in the set will have a foil-edged version. Some more of the foil-edged oh, look God. we'll share soon for Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. It better be better than the foil-edged in the last Commander, Commander yeah, Legends, because those were bad. They looked bad. They were just ugly. Yeah, I agree. They just were. I'm so sorry. Okay, so collector oh, booster. That hard. <laughs> that's wild. His eyes are popping out. Yeah, that's creepy. That's the collector booster. Oh god. Wow. Look at that. There's like some there's like some like a cow melting thing. cow or something. Yeah, that's creepy. I have no idea. Oh, oh, here's some cards coming yeah, out. So the, yeah, these are these all are repr- reprints. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes, Cosmic yes. Butcher of Truth, Liliana, The Last Hope. Yes. Which that, I guess that is an old card now. Um, that came out in Shadows Over Innistrad, or Eldritch Moon. Oh, yeah, that would be old. God, it doesn't feel Forever ago. And then Ren and Six. Ren and Six. Oh. That's a Modern Horizons card, I think. Yeah. Or is that, what? when did Ren and Seven come out? Run in Seven came out in uh oh Midnight uh, Hunt Midnight Hunt Midnight yeah. Hunt mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wow what 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 is Efren saying about what is Efren saying oh Baldwin said I love those edge foils they're they don't they 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 don't look nice they're not like shiny right they were okay I mean <sighs> fucking normies I'm sorry I'm so sorry. Everyone's mad at me now. I'm sorry. I don't love be, them. Don't, don't be sorry. No. I was joking. No, I don't. love them no, so don't. much. Double down. <laughs> <laughs> I love them so much. Okay, so the, so I guess these are just all like pr- like yeah, cards, are, reprints, whatever. I don't Weathered know about Wayfair. these. Weathered Wayfair. I don't know what set Weathered Wayfair came out, but Bring Delight was like an Amonkhet card, I think. Okay. And it was garbage. So they're reprinting it. So it's still garbage. It's still garbage. Why are they roasting me about about this? Look, Data Storm says th- that he liked them too. Am yeah. I the only person that didn't like them? I thought everybody didn't like them. I mean, they were just okay. <coughs> I d- I just thought they weren't very pretty. <coughs> um, Sorry about that. Yep, that's okay. So, anyways, um, the so beginning July and July eight, everyone in the world. Okay, so this is coming out in July. That's fine. That's great. Double Masters, probably not for me, but that's yeah. okay. Some some people out there just love it. You know, Unicorn Fluff. She's she might go get two boxes. That's great. I might buy a pack or two, just to there say I go. got one. There you go. You know. And we hope that Pat Crack Fever opens some. That would be great. Okay, yeah. and then we have Dominaria United. This is our I'm next excited. standard set. Right? <laughs> this bum here. I hope not. Zuby bringing that Florida Man variant to Tennessee. Oh, with me <laughs> coughing. Yes. <clears throat> no, he's just losing his voice because of all the singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I to, to be honest, like I've talked so much this week, like yeah. way more than I normally do because of... Mainly because of work, and then also the screaming that I did. Yeah, that the, one the screaming, was scream singing, really, sure. really killed my voice. <laughs> Wait, because I think I was telling you I was losing my voice um, even before that night. Like, uh-huh. oh no, because I've been talking so much. Yeah, and you're like, oh no, drink some hot tea. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're fine now. Yeah. You're just you know coughing a little. It's okay. Yeah, I tried to be as quiet as I could be yesterday. Oh, to save yourself yeah. for this. Because this for is this. super this is, important. This has been like the best part of my week. Heck yeah. Heck freaking yes. Okay, so Dominaria United. Magic heads into its 30th anniversary celebration with a return to its original setting, Dominaria. I am 
really excited about this, honestly, because I loved the previous Dominaria set. People did. They loved it. I, yeah. Because, I mean, I'm a boomer. When I first started Magic, it was all in Dominaria. Yep. So it, it's one of those that's like, you know, it feels like you're going back home. Yeah. And magic and all that. So if Dominaria (laughs) was the original setting, then that's the set that's called Dominaria wasn't the first set in Dominaria? No. So when when they were first like creating magic, um, you know, they had like Alpha, Beta. Yes. There was like Antiquities. Yes. and, And Fallen Empire. I don't think... I mean, there's going to be lore people that know more than I do about yes. this, but it, it's like, I think some of the core sets and then when they started, because some of the first sets were more based off of like, you know, folklore, like there's the Aladdin card, like yes. the Middle Eastern stuff. But yes. when they got into, I don't know what set it was, but they started developing Dominaria. They called it Dominaria, but it, but there was never a set called Dominaria. Just every, okay. every, every set was placed in this plane. Gotcha. And okay. Then, so yeah, Baltian is saying Dominaria has been the location for the vast majority of the early magic sets. Okay, gotcha. So it's like where they all took place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which was before the set that's called Dominaria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then at some point they got away from that. I don't know why, but... Like, I think when the very first set that was out of Dominaria was Mirrodin. Oh, okay. And then they went to, like, Kamigawa, then right. Shards of Alara, Ravnica. Right. Um, all that, so. And then it just became a thing, you know. <clears throat> yeah, like, so. We go to different planes. Yeah, so the only time they ever, quote unquote, went back to Dominaria back then was um, corsets. Mm. But there wasn't, like, a story in corsets at all or anything like that oh gotcha that's interesting yeah okay so that's why it's like this anniversary celebration we're going mm-hmm. back to our original yeah. setting and dominaria. i think when dominaria came out that was the 25th anniversary of um, oh. magic hold on let me see when it came out because that Dom- was was that only five years ago 2018 and that's 21, 20, 19, That's four 18. years. Oh, so it's only four years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but they said in celebration of Magic's 25th anniversary. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Hmm. So for all of their big anniversaries, they're just always going to go back to Dominaria. I'm okay with that. That's fine. You know? Sure. Like, I like that we go to other planes now because it's we've been seeing a lot of cool stuff like streets in new capenna yeah i liked it way more than i thought i would yeah and, it's been really fun strict haven remember how much we shit on it yes and then it and then we, we were like up, this is so cool this is like fucking amazing yeah. and i want to run a DD game in strict haven <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes that would be so fun um you know theros is another good one um yeah so yeah i'm glad they go to different planes like that yeah me too Okay, so Dominaria United, that's what this one is called. We got the set oh, symbols. Two. Oh, and, expansion. And the and commander. Oh, commander. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yep. Okay, cool. So so this one's coming out in September. So that's a while. That is a while. That's a while for like a standard set. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like, as we just saw, other product and stuff coming out. Co- like, and the Commander Legend stuff, but none yeah. of that's standard. So, hmm. That is a yeah, long so time. Yeah, so we were talking about this earlier today where, so back in the day, back in the day of Boomer Magic. Back right. in my time. So so they always had four standard sets come out, just like they do now, except last year. Last year was a bit different. Yeah. But so they would come out in one in winter, one in spring, one in summer, and then one in fall, and that was it. Yeah. So now it looks like they're pushing it even further to where they have one in winter. Yeah. Then another in spring, fall, and then the November releases, I guess, technically fall as well, too. Late fall. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, hmm. it's interesting they're doing that because the last set of the year would always be September. Yeah. Like either like late September, early October, and that was it for the rest of the year. Yeah. And they're not even doing like a core set. They're doing the Commander yeah. Legends this year. But, like, normally a core set would be in standard. Yeah. And this one won't. Because mm-hmm. it's because it's commander. It's a commander set. So that's kind of strange. How do yeah. you, Like, if you play arena, <coughs> it's going to be 
it's going to be a long time like before new cards come out. I guess. Well, no. So with the we, I thought I read somewhere that they were going to release some Commander Legends cards into Arena. Oh. Which, that's weird. They haven't done that before. But Maybe they're going to do it in one of their other formats. Like Alchemy or like whatever. Alchemy, yeah, Al- yeah. Probably Alchemy. Yeah, or, probably. They want Alchemy to really work. They really yeah. do. Yeah. Or Historic, Stop sure. Stop trying to make Alchemy work. It doesn't work. It's not going to work. Stop trying to make Alchemy work. Yes. Just kidding. I've never played it, so I really can't talk about it. I think oh, I played Walder- it once by accident. <laughs> I think I played it once by accident. <laughs> okay, so Data Storm says Baldur's Gate is going to be alchemy released. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Well, there you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad our chat is here because they clearly know like way more about what's going on than we do. So we're glad y'all Usually are here. Usually, I'm a little bit more up to date on what's going on in Magic, but I've been you've been out of town. I've all been week. out of town this week, and yeah. I've I've, been, I've seen stuff here and there, but this is like the first time. I'm really getting to sit down and look at this. And this was like a lot of information <coughs> that yeah. they just released. So, yeah. you know, it's it's a lot. So that's the pictures okay. of it. Yeah. So is that a Johnny? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a Johnny, Johnny and Liliana. Liliana. Yeah. Okay. We got some of the gate watch there. And that's um that braids. Oh yeah. Person. Uh-huh. I don't know anything about them. Yep. Karn. There Karn. you go. Oh, he's wearing He's, he's wearing a loincloth. He's kind of yeah. He's wearing a loincloth. Usually he's naked. So, well, he's a robot, right? So what does it matter? Yeah, I mean, why would he put? Why would he decide to put on a loincloth all of a sudden? That's probably make it more PG or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, this oh, was a big. Right. This was a big thing. Yeah. Because this is one of our first topics we ever talked about in Magic for Normies was Jumpstart. Remember that? Yep. And they are coming out with a new Jumpstart set. So it says, let's double down on Dominary United update. In addition to draft set and collector boosters, you already know. We're adding a fan favorite to the mix. Beginning with Dominary United, each standard set release also includes themed Jumpstart packs. And that is, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Jumpstart is so freaking good. Yeah, I love Jumpstart <clears throat> too. And right here it says they're replacing the theme boosters. Good. So it's kind of like, you know... How, I'm, honestly, who, who got a theme booster? I mean, people did, but, but I, I mean, I would never get one. Look, like, like, if you want a casual normie to buy buy something, you know, th- this is perfect this right is here. This is way better. This is something, you know, yeah. you and I, we can go to the store, yeah, buy a few packs, and then just play it. open it up, play. Yeah, yeah. And, you can't do that with a theme booster. Yeah. Heck like, no. Nah. Like, you're getting tired of my Grand Arbiter EDH deck. So okay, tired of it. Okay, we're going to do some Jumpstart. Yeah, like when you yeah, like we need a break from the oppression. So yeah, let's yeah. play some jumpstart. Is it oppression or depression? Both. Both. <laughs> both. <laughs> Literally both. Yeah, so I like that. Themed jumpstart Thank packs. You. Cool. So are those characters that we know of? Uh, it's not characters Monkey I know. Or ape person and lizard? Yeah. Or a dragon? Is that a, a dragon? dragon? I think that's a I think that's a whelp. That's Looks a whelp. Like a baby dragon. Yeah. But theme boosters had 35 cards. Okay. Are these oh, going to okay. be... Oh, Well, well Jumpstart packs have, what, cards. 20 cards each? I don't remember. Yeah, because it's it's 20 cards in each booster, so you just put them together and you play a 40-card deck. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you put <laughs> two of them together. Well, I, I, I like the Jumpstart. I, I love the idea. Yeah. It's, it's great. I personally think that's pretty cool. Um... Like, actually get something for you and some friends to quickly play together, and it's each new standard set. Yeah, so every it'll be standard set. Yeah, I think that's cool. Oh, and what'll be cool is you'll eventually get to mix and match standard sets, too, with it. So you get some Dominator United oh. Jumpstart and maybe the, the Brothers War Jumpstart. Yeah. And put them together. Boom. There you go. Sure. Why not? That's Enjoy fun. the man. Fun. I think that sounds... Yeah, I think that sounds cool. I'm excited about... About the jumpstart. I've always liked jumpstart. So, yeah, I'm down for that. Um, And then, okay, so then we have love Love your local local game store. store. Spend 50 US dollars on sealed magic product in store and you get a promo card. It's a soul ring. With the old border and it's foil and I love it and I need one. 
And Pixie's like, it's the grossest thing ever. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's fine. I have a couple of old bordered cards in some of my decks that I play. And it's fine. It's because I that's the only version of the card I have. Yeah, so I put yeah. it in my deck. So sure. You get you get you want the special old border soul ring? Fine. I love it. I there love you it. go. I want one. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna support because I I found a new LGS, which oh. is where I went to the Streets of New Capetta pre release and I think I think I talked about it before on the other show. It's a it's a younger couple owns it and Yes. They're you know, I wouldn't mind supporting them and well, hopefully good. get one of these cards. There you go. Better get one of these cards. I'll well, get... it is while supplies last. And I'll, I'll tell them, like... You better want... check with the store on availability. I want my money back if I don't get it. You never get promos because they forget to send them to your LGS? Ooh. Oh, that stinks. Yeah. That does, that does suck. So starting July 1st, they're going to have that. I hope they do. Oh. I wonder how long they'll last. Probably like a day. <laughs> One day. Yeah, going to have a bunch of nerds going in there. Like, I want this Lined special up. soul ring. They're going to be out there at like midnight the night before, lining up out the door, sleeping, okay, camping out there. Okay, I don't, I don't want one that bad. Heck no. Bunch of nerds. Whatever. <clears throat> Whatever. Battle in store championships this July. Oh, dang. Store championships are coming back. So these used to be called game days. Oh, back okay. in the day. Yeah, I've heard it, of that. They used to be, I don't I don't know if stores charge money for them, or maybe they did, but at least the stores around me, they, they were always free. Oh. You, you just join it and you play standard okay. or, or whatever format yeah. they, they want. Yeah, draft, wanted. sealed, standard, modern, pioneer. And it, then you'd get some of these promos for winning. Like I think one of them is going to be... It looks like Flame Slash is for all participating players. Top eight earns Archmage's Charm, and the winner takes home Dark Confidant. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm glad they're doing that again. And now that everything's starting to open back up. Yeah. And more in-store game play is happening. Yeah. I'm glad to see these, because they were always fun. Yeah. They're, okay. Yeah, it looks like this one here saying game day was free. free. I don't know if this is... the same store championship, but yeah, I would assume so. Well, that's cool if that's your thing. Awesome, get get some cool promo cards. Yeah, there you go. Um, the gate to new adventure for alchemy and historic players. Ooh, that's we'll not us. Yeah. That's not us. Uh, this is what this is what Colin was just or I can't remember who said that about the Baldur's Gate yeah. is going to be going I think it was into. Data. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Going into Alchemy Horizons, Baldur Gate. I mean, it is cool that arena players do get a chance to play with these cards mm-hmm. and all that. I like that. Um, yeah. It's just, I only ever really use arena now for draft. That's it. Yeah. I don't do anything else with it. And then again, I hardly play draft anyway. Yeah. I don't play arena. It's, I don't play for, for my mental health because it stresses me out. Yeah. And so I know know that it stresses me out. So I just am like, I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm going to take care of myself. I understand. So I don't play it. But for those who do, you know, there you go. You're going to get some Alchemy Horizons. That's great. Wonderful. 250 new cards on MTG Arena. Yeah, that kind of is a lot. Interesting. Isn't that like how many cards are going to be in Boulder's Gate? Is it? I don't know. Throws open... Okay. Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate throws open the city gates to new adventures July 7th for Alchemy Horizons players. The set the set aligns with the themes of the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate tabletop release and introduces over 250 new cards to MTG Arena. Yeah, new mechanics, it. new legends, new powerful new spells can push your favorite MTG Arena deck to powerful heights and lay the foundations for entirely new deck possibilities. Oh, the Baltan says that in the stream, in the magic stream about this, they made it. They almost made it sound like the Baldur's Gate cards aren't the ones from Commander Legends. Wait, what? They're gonna be totally new, different cards. That's dumb. 
I mean, it does say over 250 new cards for alchemy and historic, but yeah, that is, um, isn't really clear whether they're like... The set aligns with the themes of Battle for Baldur Gate. Yeah. Okay. Aligns with the themes, but um, that so does maybe, make maybe, it sound maybe, like they're not the not same the cards. One for one, all the cards. Weird. Okay. Well, I mean, if it's a commander set, <clears throat> you know, how does that work in yeah, alchemy? Because it's all 1v1. Yeah. Okay, they are totally different cards. We're going with that. Okay. Whatever. Interesting. Um, Your track to the top, MTG Arena Premier Play. Yeah, okay. Competitive Magic, I don't care about that. Premier Play events. Are you going to be doing any Premier Play no. on Arena? No? no. Okay. We're, we'll just kind of skim past that. Yeah. That's fine. Wizards Presents, okay. Ooh, oh, it's the 2023 release schedule. Oh, so they're on August 18th. They'll be back with our launch of Wizards Presents. Okay. So, so another thing, if you look at that, it's going to be plus a look beyond at upcoming Dungeons & Dragons releases. Oh! <gasps> ooh, I can't ooh. wait for that. Ooh, okay. So, 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 so if you didn't know, uh, Wizards has recently just bought D&D Beyond. Which is the, oh, yeah. the the online tool that we use for making characters and all yes. that stuff. Yes, yes. So uh, maybe they'll have some announcements relating to that. Oh, cool. So on August 18th, it sounds like they're going to be doing another live stream where they'll, where they'll talk more about this stuff. And then and then the Dungeons and Dragons. All right, all right, let's do complete wrong guesses what all the other sets are going to be. Okay, just based on like the code name. Yeah. Okay. So, lacrosse. What do you think it's going to be? Okay, so codename lacrosse. Okay, so I'm guessing that one. So it's going to be quarter one, 2023. Okay, codename lacrosse. So I'm guessing that 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 one is going to be like about um, fashion designers. Hmm. Yeah. Like a fashion plane? Fashion show. Like a fashion show playing? Yeah. It's all about like high fashion. Hmm. Yeah. That's my That'd guess. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I mean, heck, you could almost put that in like a Ravnica set or something. That would be or, so cool. Or like even go back to Streets of New Capenna. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Like that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be... Hmm. My first thought is it'll be something similar to Battle Bond. It'll be whatever plane the Battle Bond plane was on. I don't even know what that is. So Battle Bond was a, a set... That was purposely made to play two-headed giant with. Oh. And, and it all took place in like this giant sports coliseum. Oh, weird. So that's what I'm thinking Look, the lacrosse is going to be. Whatever plane that is, it's going to be more of a sports themed okay. plane. Okay, so we have very different ideas here. Yeah. Oh, but so that's fine. We're going to have to... We'll keep up with that. Hold on, hold on. Let me write my notes down here. You know, okay. I'm going to keep notes of this We're here. We're keeping notes. And then, and then when we... So, August 18th, when they do announce everything, our next yeah. episode of that, we'll talk yeah. about, you know... We're going to come back and we're going to be like, these are our predictions. How wrong we were. Yeah. So, lacrosse. Yeah. You think um, fashion plane. Mm-hmm. And then I think sports plane. Okay. Our next one... So I guess marathon comes first. Yeah. So there's so there's marathon and then there's marathon epilogue. So that's like a two part thing, right? I'm guessing that's gonna. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be the Phyrexian set for both of them. You did so, say so, that. Sort of like how they're gonna be similar to like the Innistrad. Okay. The Innistrad. That, that right. that's my guess. So 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 yeah, the two like that. It's it's got to be like something like um, Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow, right? Yeah. Okay, so my guess is going to be, oh gosh, um, what would be like a two-part thing like that? So that, so, so that was Werewolves and Vampires. Mm -hmm. They've already done Angels and Demons. That yeah, was New Capenna. New Capenna. Okay, okay, let me think, let me think. The, okay, so the marathon um, is going to be, okay, what if it's like, what if it's like Cats and Dogs? <laughs> like marathon is cats and marathon epilogue is dogs. So I I know so for cats, right? 
I know they have like a Johnny and Leonins, which yeah. are like, you know, more upright bipedal yeah. cats. They don't have anything like that for dogs. No, so that would be totally new. So it's kind of like, oh, here come the cats. Oh, we kind of already know about cats. Epilogue dogs. Dog people. Or reverse it around. Or reverse it around. Because yeah, we all know cats are better. I mean, they are. Well, I like both. I mean, I like both too, but if I had to pick one, it'd be a cat. You know? Yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. End of the day. Um, but yeah, I. Okay, so that'd be interesting. Cats and dogs. Yeah. For sure. Okay. <laughs> so, like, okay, so chat is say chat has some good ideas. Return to Ex- Ixalan. Ooh. Or Anna- Annex exist in Takir, their dog peeps. Oh, they oh, are. Oh, there you go. I thought they were, like, dragons or something. All of the codenames in the past 14 sets are Olympic sports themed. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so net, okay, so the next one is Netball. Netball. Okay, so. Um, that sounds like a return plane. What is a place we haven't been to in a long time? Um, I mean, I'm gonna say Alara. It's gonna be an Alara themed. Okay. We have not been to Alara since Shards of Alara. See, I don't even know these old planes to be able to like guess that stuff. I'm okay. I'm gonna say Netball is gonna be like a um. A whole food cooking themed set. Food cooking, a, okay. like a cook off, like you fight with food and stuff. It's going to be like you know, like a cooking competition. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Netball. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Okay. And then the last one we got off roading. Okay, that's that one's clearly going to be like a vehicle set, right? A vehicle set. Okay. Oh, easy, easy guess right there. Off roading. Yeah. I'm going with. Cowboys. Ooh, cowboys! That would be so fun. We, oh, we we've had okay future samurai ninjas, and we, we've now had more of a modern set, you know, with Streets of New Capenna. Yeah. But we still haven't like had a Western set with cowboys. Yeah, like with the ranches. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There you go. Yeah, look, my food idea. That's good. Sh- Chef Tribal Food Wars. Oh my god. Hell's Kitchen. Hell, Gordon Ramsay Universe. Universe is beyond. Yes. Let's oh go. my god. Yeah, let's go. You donkey. <laughs> okay. Oh, Colin says off-roading is return to return to return to Zendikar. Please, no. Come on. Yeah. We just had that. Yeah, no, definitely not. I mean, off-roading is definitely a vehicle set. Where it's at, I don't know, but come on. It's supposed to be like vehicles. So we got to wait till August 18th to see how right we were. And then we'll you talk know about it right. on, on the next Magic for Norms. We're going to see so who's right. more right. Pixie or Zuby. I'm more right. I'm more right. Whatever. 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 We're going to have cowboys. Oh, and, and that's, that's it. it. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. That's Holy it. Crap. So what are you excited about the most? I mean, I know what I'm excited about the most. Um, Boulder's Gate. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, they didn't even talk about that. They didn't even talk about the Baldur's Gate here. Oh, I'm excited about the Jumpstart. The Jumpstart. That that, that does sound. I'm actually pretty excited about the Warhammer stuff because it's it's something I know nothing about. And and, and it's going to have a bunch of new commander pre-cons, so that's cool. Yeah, I think think that'll be fun. Yeah. I'm excited about all of it. I'm excited about the announcements of new stuff. Yes. So, like, I know... Especially the D&D stuff. Like, I'm really curious, like, what they're going to announce for D&D. Yeah. I'm, gonna I'm always excited to hear, like, what it's like what it's going to be. I don't yeah. I don't know. But, like, I just am. That That is almost, like, the most exciting thing for me. All of it's exciting. All of it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm pretty pumped. We're, we just... We just love Magic the Gathering so much. It's all so exciting. <laughs> Our wallets don't like it, though. <laughs> But, you know, you you buy what you can, and, you know, you just don't go overboard. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, Baltan asks, which ham- Warhammer faction are you two gravitating towards? Oh, were those the only factions? Like, those five? Oh, or, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold oh, on. No. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> I was trying to go to the top of this. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, wait, let me pull that back up. Because that was... It, I think it was just those four. It was a four decks? It was, or was it five? It was five. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, wait. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. oh God, you're right. Oh, God, you're right. Okay, We're let me share my screen again. All right. Fashion now. So the one that I'm excited about the most, uh, scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, the 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 space skeletons one, because Necron. The Grixis one? No, 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 no. The one right above it, Necron. Oh, the mono black one? Yeah, cause cause uh, Baltan says those are uh, space skeletons, and that sounds cool as they hell. They do look like space skeletons. That looks skeletons. awesome. I'm yeah. excited about that. The Necron. What about you? I mean, none of these color combinations resonate with me at all. I know. There's a lot of blue. So I guess I'll just pick the mono black one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 besides color, like which, which of like, I don't know, the aesthetics or something. Because I'm just going by aesthetic. The aesthetic, like none of them. Okay. Th this, this ain't space, space monsters. That really ain't my thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like, like, my, okay. So let me just tell you, like my absolute favorite um, magic set that has ever come out since I've started playing is Throne of Eldraine. So if that doesn't tell you, like this doesn't resonate with me, like the story, like the storybook, the original yeah, fantasy yeah. stuff, like like that's that's the kind of stuff I like. So if they did the the normal Warhammer, where it was like more closer to Warcraft, mm -hmm. you'd probably enjoy. I that would, way. yeah, that I would like that aesthetic better. I, I think Warhammer 40k is the more popular version of Warhammer. I don't know. Someone in chat probably knows. Yeah. This. So maybe that's why they went with the 40k instead. Yeah, of, sure. Instead of the OG Warcraft or Warhammer. All I know is that I'm pretty sure Henry Cavill plays Warhammer 40k. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I believe so. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's apparently a huge nerd. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I'll i probably maybe get one of these commander decks, maybe, I guess, when they come out, if one of them sounds really good. I think I want to get one of each. Well, there you go. There's a lot of blue there. There's a lot I of blue like, there. That's like the it. thing. I'm a, li I'm a little iffy about that. I like that blue. But we'll see. It's all about that blue, about that blue. No. <laughs> no. no blue. No green. No green? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you love green too. I do. I Simic for life. What am I do? What am I looking for? I'm looking for our notes. Well, oh, that's, that's it? it. That's all of our topics. That was we talked a long time about this. We really it, did. There was a lot of stuff. We really did. And a lot of stuff like holy crap, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, I I I really am like so excited for all of it though. Yeah, it's um. I just like new stuff coming out. I know people get so sick of it because it seems like it's constant, but I personally don't feel the need to like get every single new thing that comes out. Right. But you, but if you don't do it that way and you just kind of get what you really like, then you have more options because there's more stuff being put out all the time. Yep, exactly. I like that, but you know, I'm. I guess I'm different than. I guess we're normies because it's more normies. I, I mean, does it feel like? There is a lot of stuff kind of, yes. Yeah. Of, of, of course there is. Yeah. But it's also, you don't have to get it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, like just interact with what you enjoy. Yeah. You know, instead of feeling like you got to get everything. Yeah. With it. Yeah, for sure. That's me too. Um. Okay, so you know what? I guess we'll just play our games. Ooh. We've got, uh, we got three different games to play, so we do have a lot of games. And, and all of these games are um, really, really heavily involved in with chat. So yes. chat, uh, you have to participate with it. I you think you'll to. enjoy it and have fun. <laughs> um, we did more games than we normally do because this is a special episode. Yeah, live from Nashville, very special. Who we yeehaw? Yeehaw, live from Nashville. I, I was afraid um, when we were driving to the Jack Daniels distillery, like you go through some country. I was afraid deliverance was going to come out of the woods. Yeah, because that's not in Nashville. That's like how far away? How far away was that? An hour south? Yeah, like an hour, hour and a half or yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was afraid deliverance was going to come out with their banjos. And... You never know. Lock your car doors. Def there were some parts where I'm like, oh, we definitely better not break down around here. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Florida. You can fit in. 
You, you at least can pretend fit in. I can't fit in wearing a shirt like this. Yeah, that's but true. But we won't get into that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Um, okay, so let's play our game. So our first game... Um, so, so talk about how this first game is going to work. So we are going to play real or fake. I am going to read off some magic cards mm -hmm. and the chat has to guess whether it's a real card mm -hmm. or a fake card. So one of the things I'm going to read what the card does, you know, the mana cost of it, um, say what it does but if any of the part has the name of the card like in the rules text mm -hmm. i will not say it mm -hmm. so you'll hear me say like talking about a creature like like tap blank to you know blah 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 yeah you know whatever yeah so so you have to guess whether it's a real card or a fake card then then we'll reveal th it. then we'll reveal the card whether it's real or not yes okay so <clears throat> we're gonna start with our first card I'm not showing you, I'm not showing chat yet. Okay, no. and so chat, like, don't, obviously don't cheat. Don't, like, look it up. Yeah, don't look it up or anything. So so we'll, like, do the mana cost, the card type, yeah. what it says. So you're going to have to listen. Listen up. All right, so we ready for the first one? Yeah, first card. All right, so this card is a sorcery. It is one in a red. Players can't block with green and or white creatures this turn. Flashback, one in a red, pay three life. Is this a real card or a fake card? Mm-hmm. So I'll say it again. Players can't block with green and or white creatures this turn, and it has flashback. Real or fake? So I'll read it one more time, Data. Oh, okay, okay, so we got some... I'll read it one more time for Data in case he didn't hear it. Okay. Um, so once again, it's one in a red. It's a sorcery. Players can't block with green and or white creatures this turn. It has flashback. One in a red. Pay three life. Okay. So we've got some answers Just here. Some answers. Colin says fake. K Kyush oh, I'm sorry. I can't say that. Kuya Kuyashi. Yep. Ugh. Kuyashi. Says fake. Yep. Pat Crack says fake. Baltan says real. All right. D Data, what do you think? Yeah, real so, or fake? Yeah. So you're just guessing whether this is a real magic card or just a made up magic yeah. card. Data will say real. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to reveal the card. All right. And it is a real card. It is Flash of Defiance from Scourge. I don't know. What is that symbol? I think symbol? that's Scourge. Maybe. But it is a real magic card. It is a real, it is a real magic so card. So it looks like Baltan and Data Storm is right. They are right. It Congrats. is real. Congrats. It Good is a job. real card. Okay, let's go. Let's, <laughs> right. I know it's a weird one. Okay, let's yeah, go so to So we're going to have to switch back and forth all the time. Yes, yeah, so be patient. Be patient. Right. Okay, we'll go to our next one. All right, this is a four mana artifact creature. It is a 2-2. Two, oh, two. It is... Oh, Torment. Sorry, not Scourge. Um, yeah. So I'll say it again. So it's a four mana artifact creature. It is a 2-2. Two, two. You pay three to tap. Regenerate target artifact creature. Is it real or is it fake? Real or fake. Yes. So read it one more time for the chat. So it is a four mana artifact creature. It is a 2-2. Two, two. Pay three to tap and regenerate target artifact creature. Mm. Hmm. 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 That sounds real. Colin says fake. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. What do you think? I know the answer. I know you know the so answer. So I can't yeah, cause say. Because we, we had to come up with these and. Yeah, I've already looked at them. Baltan says real. Mm hmm. Okay. I would be so bad at this game. I would just always I... be like, that's that must be a. Card, to be honest, I would be, be too. Card, I, yeah. I, I would be bad at this too because it's. Yeah, it's I, hard. I, I don't agree. There are some really weird cards out there. That seems real, but it could be too easy. Okay, so data says real. Still say <laughs> real though. Okay, what about Pack Crack Fever? Do we have Pack Crack Fever playing? Pack Crack Fever. He's probably going on the Card Sphere database. Like he's going into his brain right now. Like. Mm -hmm. beedie, 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 beedie. Is this a real card? How much does it cost? Is this a real card? It is $8,000. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Wow, we just made fun of him so hard. Okay, we're not waiting anymore. All right, we're not waiting we're anymore. We're not waiting right. anymore. It's a real card. It's a real card. Clockwork gnomes. Um, shit, what's the set? Someone's at homebound. And home look world? how cute they are. Look how they cute are. these little clockwork gnomes are. What's the kit set? I don't know. Homeworld? Homelands? Homelands. There you go. Homelands. There we go. So if you Home guessed bound. real, you got it. You are right if you said real. Is that Night of Bawa? Hey, Night of Bawa. Hey. How's it going? Oh, oh eight cent card. Okay. Snap. So we're moving All on right. to our next card. Listen up. All right. This is a zero cost creature. Mm -hmm. It's a zero one. As an additional cost to cast this creature... Tap an untapped white creature you control with power one or greater. It has vigilance and lifelink and training. Ooh. Is it real or is it fake? Is it real or fake? Oh. Real, real, real? Fake, fake, fake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Colin says, I looked up all the clock cards at one point. <laughs> Kiyashi says fake. Mm hmm. Oh, he had to refresh. Now there's commercials. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Data. All right, so I'll read it again. It's a zero yep. cost creature. It's a zero one. As an additional cost to cast this, tap an untapped white creature you control with power one or greater. Has vigilance, lifelink, and training. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. So is that real or is it fake? Real or real? Or fake, fake, fake. Hmm. There have been two real cards, so this one must be fake. Hmm. Hmm. Is fake. that how it works? Hmm. hmm. What do you say, Baltan? If you're still in chat. Fake. Ooh. Right, Pat says real. All right, let's reveal it. Let's reveal the card. It's a fake. It's a fake. It's a fake, Squirrel Squire. It's look, a fake. But look, look how, how cute. adorable it is. It is so adorable. Look at this little buddy. Look at this little buddy. He is so adorable. I love Look, I won't let you down, sir. <laughs> I wish this was a real I card. I know, right? It's so cute. Oh my cute. gosh, it is. I love it. All right. Our next card. All right. Um, this next one is a instant that costs two and a white. Mm -hmm. You gain one life for each creature your opponents control. Hmm. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Is this a real card or is this a fake card? Ooh. I will hmm. read it again. It is a two and a white instant. You gain one life for each creature your opponents control. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Ooh. Okay, Data Storm says real. It's a real fake. That's what it is. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Real or fake? Real or fake? Mm. Real. Oh, we've we got, got three reels. We got a lot of reels so far. Mm, dang. Is it? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Hmm. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm going to say the opposite of what everyone else right. is saying. Yeah. So contrarian. Real. Real. All right. Here we go. It's a real card it's from real. Dragon's Maze. Riot Control. Riot Control. You all knew that card, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that seemed too easy. You knew that one. All right. All right, so this next card is a sorcery. It is X double black. Ooh. Destroy all creatures with mana value X. If X is six or greater, destroy all creatures. So is this a real card or a fake card? So once again, it is X double black, <coughs> a sorcery. Destroy all creatures with mana value X. If X is six or greater, destroy all creatures. Hmm. 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 Real or real or fake, fake, fake? We're getting some reels coming in. Getting some reels coming in here. Real. Oh, okay. Real. Okay. Mm, are you sure this time? Hmm. Baltan says fake. <laughs> I love how Baltan's putting them all in all caps. All know, of his right? answers in all caps. He's like, he doesn't even hold caps lock, hold shift. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Back. Okay. All right. All right. It's fake! It's a fake! It's a fake card! 
Fake! Baltan was right. Fake! It's a fake! It is a fake! It's a fake card. It does sound real, though. It, it sounds real. Like, if it you does. Ha if you had read that to me, I oh, would have yeah. that's a real card. Oh, yeah. I would have been like, ooh, that's good. I need that for some of my decks. Yeah. Yeah, but no. It's fake. All right. Our next card. Our next card is a creature that's a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> it is, it a good is card. one in a black, and it has persist and renown one. Ooh. Hmm. Let me read that again. It is a one in a black creature that is a 2-2, two -two, and it has persist and renown one. Real or fake? So tricky. So tricky. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, Two well, fakes. Okay. All right. Are we sure about that? Mm -hmm. Has Persist and Renown one. Hmm. And it's a creature. It's a 2-2. Two -two, and it's one in a black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ball's hand screaming, fake! Fake. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, dang. All right. Here we let's go. show it. It's fake. It's a fake. You all are pretty good at this. Y'all are so Dang. Oh, poor Colin. Poor Colin. Oh, I'm sorry. Colin. Sorry. You all are pretty good at this. Like, I'd be are terrible at this yeah, game. Y'all are pretty good at this. I would be so bad. For sure. <laughs> That's like Custom Magic 101. Persist I, I, I guess. I guess I don't go on Custom Magic enough to no. know what it's like. I don't either. I have no <clears> idea. <throat> it's real and it's spectacular. It was fake. Efren, it it's literally fake. was fake. It's a fake. Gosh, pay attention. All right. This next one is one blue and black. It's a creature that's a 2-1, has first strike. You may cast this from your graveyard if a swamp entered the battlefield this turn. You may cast this from exile if an island entered the battlefield this turn. I'll read it one more time. It is one blue and black. It is a creature. It's a 2-1 with first strike. You may cast this from your graveyard if a swamp entered the battlefield this turn. You may cast this from exile if an island entered the battlefield this turn. Real or fake? Mm. Real or real or fake, fake, fake? A lot going on with that one. It's gonna be real or fake. Real or fake? It's yeah, definitely yeah. going to be one or the other. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh. What if it's neither? What if we put one that's like neither real or fake? What is that? I don't know. It's, it's alchemy cards. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, no. Alchemy card. We consider alchemy cards to be real. Oh, we got four fakes in the chat. We got a bunch let, of fakes. Let, let's show Let's show the... Reveal. It's fake. Wait, it is? Yeah, it is fake. Oh, oh it's like a that's a real set symbol. Uh, it is, but it's a fake card. <laughs> I have it in foil. <laughs> Alchemy is fake card. Oh, I totally thought this was a real card no, because it had fake. a real set symbol. I know, I know. It threw me off too. But I was tricked and I was literally looking at the card. <laughs> Zoomy! Uh oh, man. How did great. you do that to me? Okay, it was fake. It was fake even though Efren has it in foil. All right. All right. All right. Wow. Our next one. This is a creature. It is a 1-3. It is two and a black. Mm -hmm. You tap it and sacrifice it to put a plus one, plus two counter on target creature. What? So I'll read it again. Please do. It is a creature. It is a 1-3. It is two and a black. You tap it to sacrifice it and put a plus one, plus two counter on a target creature. Is it real or fake? Hmm. If it's real, it's from an unset. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Baltan says real. He's Ooh. pretty sure about himself. He it's is real. yelling. He is yelling again. It's real. real. I'll say real. Ooh. I'm on old set. Hmm. You've got several reels. Dang. All right. Let's show it. Let's reveal the card. It is Armor Thrall. It is a Armor real card Thrall. from Fallen Empires. Oh, Baltan says, I'm pretty sure I know the name. Oh, Baltan made that card. Gotta love those not plus one, plus one counters. So I thought maybe weird. that would throw people off. Yeah. Because. Plus one, plus two. What is that? Yeah, I don't know if I ever played this card before. Yeah, I definitely have not. No. 
Very strange. Wow. We oh. all knew. Wow. They oh, knew dang. Baltan knew it. They, dang. Yeah, Baltan knew it. Baltan is Dang, smarty. I thought the plus one, plus two counters would throw people off, but they're all like, nope. We know our magic cards. That just goes to show, I don't know, magic is They're well as smarter I I than we are. Damn. Yep. We're normies. They're yeah, not. I, oh, God, I'm. It's we okay. are normies. We like, are. I, I like to think I know a lot about magic, but then our stuff chat, like this, yeah. Chat like proves like, nope, I know nothing. Um, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Next one. Yep. It is a creature that is a one two. It is costs one and a white. It has double strike. Mm-hmm. Spells cast from among cards you drew this turn cost one less to cast. Ooh. Spells cast from among cards your opponents drew this turn cost one more to cast. Is this real or fake? <laughs> so I'll say. So I'll read it again. It is one and a white. It is a one two. It is a creature. It has double strike. Spells cast from among cards you drew this turn cost one less to cast. Spells cast from among cards your opponents drew this turn cost one more to cast. Ooh. Real or fake? Mm-hmm. Real, mm-hmm. real or fake, fake, fake. We got a real we from got data the real storm. Or fake. We got the real or fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna reveal. And the answer oh, is. Snap. And the answer is it's real. It is real. It's a real alchemy card. It's a real alchemy card, and we consider those real cards. That those are unfortunately they are real. They are cards. real cards. Yes. They, it is a legal magic card. In a format. In a format. Yep. So it's not it's real. real. It's we, real. We, it's real. <laughs> Data Storm. I swear I saw this on Arena the other day. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. And this is our last one. Oh, Bal- that's Baltan. That's your first uh, one that um, you got wrong. Oh, Baltan. Well, thing you don't play enough alchemy, apparently. Yeah, apparently not. Nope. Kiyashi says, can I hold one? Technically, you could. You hover your mouse over it in Arena, then pick up your monitor, and you are <laughs> holding it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It, yeah, there totally. you go. All right. All right, I think this is our last one. Yeah, this yes. is our last one. Yes, it is. All right. So this is an instant. Costs three white and blue. Gain control of target creature that dealt damage this turn. Is this real or fake? So I'll read it again. It is three white and a blue. It is an instant. Gain control of target creature that dealt damage this turn. Hmm. Hmm. Real or fake? Or real or real or fake, fake, fake? Give a guess. What do you think? Oh, that rhymed. It did? River real, fake, fake, fake. Give a guess what you what think. Are you f- oh. <laughs> Did I say thank? Thank. What you, you, you think? You got that Tash, that Tashville, tennis, that Nashville twang. Oh, no. It comes out sometimes. Oh, okay. Oh, real, we got my some fake. Oh. one on me. Fake, oh. fake, fake. Okay, right, let's reveal, reveal it? it. Let's reveal it. It's a fake. It is fake. It is fake. fake. So your friend couldn't have cast one on you. Yeah. Must be something similar. Yeah, there's got probably a yeah. similar card. Yeah. That southern drawl. That my southern drawl only comes out when I get drunk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Even though I'm from further south than you are, but here it's more southern. Than, oh yeah, than sure. Down where I'm at. Oh sure, yeah. And that was oh, it. That, that was, was really it. fake. That was fun. Yeah. It's, it's, I think we could do this again. And, um. Who can try, forget try, blue players? Try to really find some good fakes and good real cards. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I like that game. I would be so bad at it, but who cares? You know? Oh, yeah. It I'd, is what it is. I'd be horrible at that. It's. Yeah. For sure. Okay. So let's play our next game. Um, do booster sleuth. Yeah. Wait, okay. Do do? Yeah. 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 Okay. So booster sleuth. We're playing our next game. These are these are some of the um, magic mini games that you know like come in packs. Yeah. We're we're gonna play a couple of these. Okay. This is the dis- discover the four facts of it. Uh. So, 
you play the secret secret keeper and I'm the detective. Okay. You open a pack and remove any lands and cards without magic backs. I'm opening. They a shuffle the, reman- kind of the remaining cards and pick one at random. Okay. That card is the mystery card. Ha-ha. And then the secret keeper gives the detective the rest of the cards and the game begins. So you pick one at random and Ouch. you okay? My elbow. <laughs> oh, no. My elbow. So what am I doing? I'm taking out anything that's not a magic card. Yeah, so I would probably take out... Take out the land and the token? Yeah. Okay. And then you pick one at random and show the chat. Ooh, pick a card at random and show the chat. And then you make sure the chat knows and then you put it back in and shuffle it and give the game or give the cards to me. Okay. So... Okay, I'm picking a card at random, and I'm going to show the chat, so don't look over here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm still trying to read the rules here. The detective must must correctly guess four facts about the mystery card. The mana value, the the color, card type, and the number of words in its name. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Okay, so I put it back in here. I'm going to have to, like, pull this up for myself because I'm going to forget what card it it is. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. Okay. So is it okay to look? Um, Or no, not yet, not yet. Okay. Yeah, you can look. Okay. I just don't want to, like, look at your phone by accident. I'm hiding Um, it. So they have to guess four facts. To do this, they choose and reveal cards one at a time. When each card is revealed, the secret keeper tells the detective how many of the four facts that card and the mystery card have in common. Okay, then the detective may either guess the four facts or reveal another card to get more clues. The detective only gets one guess, so... So I'm going to reveal a card and you tell me how many... Of of, the things match. Yeah, so it would be the mana value... Color, card type, and the number of words in its name. Okay, so here's the stack. I shuffled it. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shuffle it too, some more. And then just reveal one card at a time. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to reveal the first card to the chat. Um, I don't know if they can see that. Yeah, it was like, it was like, oh, there it goes. Okay, Torch Breath. Okay, Okay. so, uh, so I'm supposed to tell you... What matches? Yeah. Mana, the mana value, color, card type, and number of words in its name. I think you only tell me if it's one or two things, or because we okay, did this right. before. Okay, yeah, I know, while. I know. Okay, I have to tell you how many of the four facts it matches. That it matches. Oh, okay. So let me look. Okay, so let me look. So this is torch breath. So everybody in chat knows this is Torch Breath here. Okay. Oh, we got Radical Mari raiding with a party of 24. Oh, snap! Oh, we almost missed that! Mari! Hello, Radical Mari! Mari, Mari! Welcome! Mari! Welcome, everybody. Hi! How's it going? Um, we're just playing some games right now. We're playing Booster Sleuth right now. Yes. Hi, Blue Cubby. Hello, Radical Mari. Welcome. This um, is our super special Magic for Normies, too. Yes. Live from Nashville. Yeah, this is a special episode for us because normally Zuby's in Florida mm-hmm. and I'm in Tennessee, but this is live. This is live from Nashville tonight. And you see Isabel in the background. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you of see course. Her. Oh, of course. Of course. It's oh, the course. best Animal Crossing character. Oh, of course. Or one of the best. What? Yeah, they're all the best. Come on. They're all the best. Okay, so we're so right now we're trying to play Booster Sleuth. And we're like trying to figure out how to play it yeah, live. It's been a while since we played it. As we're playing it. Okay, so we have a mystery card. And I revealed Torch Breath here. Okay, so I have to tell you how many of these things match in the mystery card and in this card. Yeah. Okay, so the number of things that match are um, one thing matches. Okay, so I'm going to reveal the next card, which is case the joint. It's a bit hard to see. Case the joint. Okay. 
So the number of things that matches... Um, Wait, can I look at the cards or do I... Uh, no, you have to reveal the cards one at a time. Okay, okay. Was I supposed to leave the card out? I don't I put know. it back in I there? Thought, I thought that's what it said. We're so bad at this. Okay, so the number of things that match um, are zero. Okay, so that's one. Here, wait, can I read the rules again? Yeah. Does it say to keep it in? We don't know what we're doing. Oh, you're supposed to take it out. Well, you haven't, like, revealed I, I, it. I know, I know, but take it out, so... Oh, okay. I think I messed up, too. Okay. We're so We're bad so at this. We're so bad at this. Holy crap. Okay, let's just keep Hi, going. Hi, Foxtrots. Hi. Um, the next one is Big Score. Big Score. Okay, so the number of things that match are, um, okay, so the thing where I think I might have messed up is that, what about multicolors? Would that be a match if one of the multicolors matches? Technically, yes. Okay, so, I'll, so two. Two things match, and two would have matched that also. Okay, okay. All right, so two. <laughs> Trying to figure out how this game works. Huh. So wait, hold on. It's oh, it's mana value, color, uh -huh. card type, and number of words in the name. Yeah. So it's it's two different mana values, mm -hmm. but two words in the name, but they're both instants. And the well, I I know the color is going to be similar. So yeah, I gave that away. Yeah. Speak easy servers. Stop with all these two letter names or two word name. Speak easy servant or server. Okay, so what is it? Oh, man, I value card type, number of words in the name. So, um, two things match. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Sorry, three things match. <laughs> oh, fuck. How do you oh, win this game? I have to guess the card name correctly? I'm not going to fucking know the D card discover name. Discover all four facts using as few cards as possible. You have oh, to oh, discover oh. all four facts. Okay, so you said three things yeah. right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two words, the color. So. This. Or, or, or this one could be the card type. And the mana value could match. Okay, okay. So you said three things, right? Yeah. Hold on, I'm, I'm actually going to try to keep like piles here. Here, so you said two things, two things for that, then three things. Oh my gosh, why is everything two words? Crooked custodian. Mm hmm. So, um, um, Two things match. Two things match? Yeah. Oh my god, this is hard. I know! This is really hard. Okay, oh. to win, discover all four facts using as few cards as possible. You don't have to guess the card, but you have to yeah. guess okay, the I'm four Okay, I'm going to go facts. attended socialite. All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, Three things match. Three things? Oh my god, so could be it's got there's it's Oh I've be, messed up. Wait, hold on, so what is it then? That one that one's right. I messed up on the messed What's up this on one that then? one. So on that I okay, this is we're, awful. We're this is awful. Horrible at this. So it's great. <laughs> one, two, three, four things match on that card. Oh, so it's oh, so then it's all four. So then it's two words it's five mana it's a creature yeah and is that, that it two words the color and, and the color oh okay so that's what it is but so so what was the card it got, but it's a it's a three color card yeah that oh god that is tough yeah so like how are you ever gonna get that i don't know 
Yeah, what okay. Was, was we messed we this we messed we messed this game up. I messed this game up big time. What was the rare? Yeah. The rare, you got a devilish ballet. Ooh, devilish ballet. I think you should say what matches, like red matches in the color. Yeah. I'm, okay. Okay, I am so sorry. I destroyed that game. That game will never be the same because I just messed it up so bad. All right, so we'll do my turn now. now You're you doing it for me? Yep. Okay. Oh, God. So don't look. No looking. <laughs> okay. I got to take out the ad. That, the... that was the worst. I was so bad at that. I was honestly horrific. Ooh, that's a decent rare. Okay, I'm not looking because you're going to show the chat. Yes. Let me pick a card. Um, oh my goodness. Right. Don't I, look, don't look, I'm don't not, look. I'm Chat, not. this is the card right here. This is the card. Get a good look at it. At least get the name of it so you all can pull it up too as we play. Get a real good look. Okay. So let me pull it up on my phone. Oh, I got to take it out of the... Yeah. Take yeah. it out and then let me pull it up on my phone. Come on, phone. I'm um, not looking. Okay. Yeah, I totally destroyed that game. It's okay. It's okay. It like I said, it's been a while since we even played it. So. It was really weird with the multicolor too. Like that was yeah. messing everything up, big time. All right, like very big time. Can I? Can I look? Yeah, you can look. Okay. I'm just shuffling. <laughs> I never thought the little booster mini games were fun at all. They are fun. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. All right. <laughs> All right, chat. Okay. Right. Okay, Pixie. Okay, here's the first card. It is... It is I one, know. like, we can't see. At all. Obscura Initiate? Obscura Initiate. So, hold on. It is the mana value... Let me try to... How are you showing that? Card. Oh, there. There we go. The ha -ha. mana value... Color card type here. Show me the card and the number of words in its name. So one, two. We're trying three. to make these mini games work, okay? Um, three things. Ooh, three things. So that's almost everything. I know. Okay. So our next card is join the maestros. Join the maestros. So let me see it here. Come on, camera. Camera's like, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Join the maestros. Zero things. Okay, I was like, these are very different. So, okay, so this is zero. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Our next one is High Rise Saw Jack. High Rise Saw Jack. Two things. Ooh, two things. Okay. So these both have three, um, three mana costs, and they're both creatures. They're different colors, and they have different numbers. Okay. Wait, hold on. Is this not considered two? Oh, yeah. I guess it is. Hi well. Oh, shit. That kind of gave away what okay. I was looking at. Okay. Okay. Because high rise is one word. It's well, just hyphenated. Well, it's hyphenated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's the two. Whoops. But they also both have the same mana cost and the same creature type. So, sh oh, so maybe what? Yeah, that one only has two. This one has two, and this one has three. Mm-hmm. <gasps> uh oh, there's Ruby. I hear Ruby. There's Ruby. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Come in here, Ruby. Okay, our next one is Riveteer's Initiate. Oh. Or bye bye. Riveteer's initiate. Um. Hi. One thing. One thing. So it's the two words in the name. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we have Gathering Throng. Uh, the two words in the name. Two things. And the mana cost is three again, and it's a creature. But it's only two things. <clears throat> okay, so this one has to be, so it has to, it's not a creature, but it, no. But it does, it has two words. 
What? This is tough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got we got Spara's adjudicators. Has Zuby pet a Ruby yet? Yes. Yes, I have. Ruby actually came up to me. Spara's adjudicators. And see the colors get messed up here. I'm gonna say two because it is one of the colors. Okay. So the color is blue. It has two words in the name. Mm-hmm. The 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 mamma value is three. Yep. So and I don't know. Every single one of these is, has been a creature so far. And this is another creature. Um, it's it's Quiza, Augur of Agonies. So this is going to be the same. Two again. Um, it's only going to be one oh, because one. of the color. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we got a sorcery. Patch up. Patch up. Sorcery. One, uh, wait, two. Uh, one, two, two. Ah! So it's not, so it's not a sorcery. So it's not a sorcery? Oh, we got an instant. A little chat. And it's blue. This two should things. be two. Two things, yeah. So, so it okay. So is it an instant? Yes. It's an instant, and it's blue, and it's three mana, and yep. it has names. two words: a majestic metamorphosis. Met metamorph. Met, yeah, metamorphosis. What the heck? Why that is that tough. game so hard? It is. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're never playing that game again. Yeah, we will. What? What was the rare in this pack? It was like some artifact or something. Mis Mysterious limousine. It was an artifact vehicle. Wow. Okay. That was tough. Our next one is something that sounds really fun. Okay. It's so, our last one. So yeah. So this is our last game. This is going to be our last game. This one, well, this is another one of the mini games. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll like this one better. Yeah, so what we're going to do, it's called Cyber Simulacrum. Um, we're going to open the booster pack. We only need one pack. We remove the add and token and art cards. Um, we, we both pick a card and set it aside. And then we both look at our card and then go on Google mm -hmm. and search for an image of the card. And but it's n but it's an image that's not of the magic art or related to magic, and we try to guess the name of it. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I don't even know the names of these cards. Neither do I. <laughs> this okay. This, I so so chat can really guess this one. Yeah. So maybe chat can help us out, and you know I'll try my best, but I have no idea what any of the and, names are. But we're are. choosing what cards we're picking too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna show we're gonna show you all an image that is just totally random, but you have to guess the name of the card, the magic card from Streets of New Capenna. All right. So I'll just I'll just have a Google, I'll just have a Google search. I'll just do a Google search, and we'll, we're each gonna pick a card. So chat, you can you can guess for this because we're gonna know what each other's are. Yeah. So I hope you all know all of the cards from Streets of New Capenna. Yeah, I'm going to choose that one. Sh sh should we show each other our card? Yeah, because, because I'll share the screen with the picture okay. to show chat. Okay, so that's going to be my card I pick. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Okay, here we go. Okay. And I was almost thinking of that one. Okay. Ooh, that could be a... Yeah, 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 I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Okay. Okay. So, 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 chat. You have to. You have to participate. Yeah, you have to try to guess the name. You of the must card. participate. <clears throat> okay. So this. So so this is Zuby's card first. I'm gonna look up. Um. Remember, don't say the name of it because I'm like, like it's. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. There's no images of that. Oh yeah, there you go. That was weird. Oh, okay, so which picture do you want to show? So which picture do you want to show the chat? Maybe this one. That because that one looks kind of. This one. 
You, you think so, or is that too easy? No, I like it. So open image and new tab. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh yeah. This yeah. won't show on my share screen because it has this on the top. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm going to close this anyways, but that. Oh, well, no, no, no. What you can do is you can full screen it. Okay. So just, just to make sure. But it won't, but yeah, yeah. but we're good. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Sharing my screen. This is the image of Zuby's card. Yeah. So, so we had to find a non-magic art or picture of the mm -hmm. card. Mm-hmm. So what's the name of this Streets of New Capenna card? <laughs> okay, so you, so chat, you're going to have 30 seconds to put in your guess. Okay? Got 30 seconds. Um, um, a stopwatch? Yeah. Or a timer? We'll do a timer. Um, Let's see. Isn't that minutes? Yeah, it is. I'm trying to go to zero. Okay, you got 30 seconds. All right, someone guessed witness protection. <laughs> All right, so That's we got one guess. guess. Sleep with the fishes. Okay. Okay. 20 seconds. Come on, Streets of New Capenna. We we chose these cards ourselves, so they're not totally random. So it's kind yeah. of like something you could guess. Witness Protection, great guess. Mandatory good... Fun, I'm not sure that's the name of a magic card. Mask of the Schemer. Is, is that it... a magic card? Like, maybe. Two I seconds, one second. Time's up. Okay, show us Ooh, your card. Fire Silence. It is... Oh, a Giada. All right, here, here, move back to the full screen. Oh, oh, oh. We got it, it is Stimulus Package. Stimulus Package. Stimulus Package. We saw, you know, the dollar bill, the COVID, we all got stimulus packages last year yep. because of it. It happened. It did. That was a good one. Yeah. I like that one a lot. This is a this is a good game that we could play like. Yeah, for um, sure. Even when, you know, e even we're when in different we're apart. Places. Yeah. Even when we're apart. Even when we're apart. <laughs> Pixie. Okay. We don't want to make it too easy. No, we don't want to. What about this one? No. This one? Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. Open it up more. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. I'm picking it. Okay. What's this? This one? What's that one? I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, forget it. I'm using this one. Okay, open image in a new tab. Okay, here we go. This is the last one. Hold on, hold on. Hold full screen at first, just how, in case. How did you do it? Uh, F11. All right. Okay, ready? Yes, there you Here it is. All right. Here it is, folks. Here is. What is the name of this magic card from Streets of New Capenna? You must have had safe search on it. That's the first one you found. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh that's my right. God, that's oh, cool. oh, we're going to do the 30 seconds again. Okay, that's you, right. you got to guess. Got to guess in 30 seconds. What's the name of this card? This card. It's not Boston costume. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Batman. Batman. That's not the <laughs> that's name. Not a... That's not the name of a magic card from Streets of New Capenna. It's this oh, card. Oh, I thought you were about to show the card. I'm no, like, no, no. No, no. It's this, it's this card right here. It's this card. This, this, is, the, this is the universe's beyond art. This is what it is. <laughs> of Batman. One second. We got one guess. Midnight Assassin. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. So we got at least one person. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, we got one guess from Balton, and he said Batman. Oh, Come on, worst Balton. guess as the fencing one. Okay, okay. That, that's a good guess. Okay, okay. So the answer is a Phyrexian Obliterator. Okay, stop. Not Phyrexian <laughs> Obliterator. Okay, so the answer is... Masked Bandit. Ooh, masked Bandits. Ba no, Masked Bandits. Multiple. Uh, that's what I had room no off. clue. That's what room. I had no clue. So that one was like pretty hard because Ooh, if, if we it. chose like a normal masked bandit, everyone would have known. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should. Maybe next time we do this, we make it a little bit easier. Maybe make it a little bit easier. Yeah. Because it's well, it, what's tough is that you have to like know all these card names. Yeah, that too. that's what that's... makes it so tough. Yeah. Like, and I, I, don't, I don't know all the card names from no. an entire set. No. Obviously. Oh my gosh. I like that one though. That one was fun. Yeah, that's a fun game. We could do that again when yeah. we're apart. When we're apart. Yeah, for sure.
Well, oh my gosh, that was that was it. That was that was everything we had. That was our games. That was it. Colin, you were close. Mass Bandit, Dallas Storm, well, you could have gotten it. Yeah. That's okay. It was tough. It was it's tough. Okay. I mean, it it was easy to me because I like knew what it was. We saw the card. Yeah, we, we knew what it was. We, we're we know so it good was. at this. Yeah, we know. We know. We know it's not easy. Well, <laughs> that's it. This is it. our it's, special. It's that's it. It's two, over. Over two hours. That's yeah. It's over. It's over. I'm 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 walking home right now. Yeah. Right after this. It's, Bye, Zuby. Mm-hmm. Have, have fun walking home. <laughs> Excuse me, Zoro is not a bandit. He's a vigilante. Well, you know what? He stole my heart. Okay. Oh, okay. there you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's what makes okay. him a bandit. Well, that was so fun. That was. Listen, all of you, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight and our special every time. episode. And we, and even when we have regular episodes. Yes. We just, we love hanging out with y'all. And that's what makes it so much fun. We've been looking forward to this like We all really week. have. Actually we really longer have. than a week. Yeah, we, we've been, been planning it for a while. Yeah. So yeah. it's, I've been enjoying. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for allowing me to come over and all that. It's Oh, gonna, of course. I know. It, but it's just like, you know, it's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. And, you know, Magic the Gathering is awesome, and we never would have become friends if it weren't for this game. Exactly, so, exactly. So thanks, Watsy. And I hope you walk home <laughs> safe, Zuby. Yeah, it's going to take me a few weeks to get home. So, yeah, you know. he'll be fine. I, I, Nashville has a lot of, or Tennessee has a lot of bears, right? That's East Tennessee. Oh, okay. Yeah. You won't be going through East Tennessee. It's just dynamite explosions i got to w- watch out for. In the new construction areas, oh, yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Zuby, tell Mr. Kitten that I love him in his face. I will. I will. I'm going to get Mr. Kitten's autograph, too, by the way. Do it. I'm going to sell it on eBay. Well, no, I need to go to CGC and get it graded first. Oh, okay. You know, get money out of that. Let me know how that goes, because, like, I could maybe make some money on the side if you get anything for that. I I can get a signature all the time. No, it's it's only from me. Oh, it's the one special one. (laughs) Oh, okay. I gotcha. It doesn't count if you're married to Mr. Kitten. Dang! <laughs> okay, whatever. Sure. No, but it's been a ton of fun. Like, we're gonna have to do something like this again. Like, yeah. We're, we're, we really are. Like, I know we've been talking forever about even just doing a meetup like this, like talking about it forever. And, and it's finally happened. We're gonna eventually, we need to get to a command fest yes. or something. Yes. It's. I can't do any of the ones this year, but I'm yeah. hoping that maybe next year we can, you know, anyone who wants to hang out with us, we can maybe try to collectively go to the same sort, same command fest and hang out for sure. Yeah, it's um, an unfortunately wizard or what wizards really needs to do is they need to come out with these command fest dates way ahead of time not, yeah so. just give us a little bit more notice yeah, maybe like i'm i'm like i said i'm gonna do my best to book my flight for command fest philly um this weekend but i mean even then like that's been sort of a rush job for me like i yeah. had to rush to get the time off and yeah and normally I, I don't know about you but me i like to plan stuff like this months ahead of time oh i'm a planner like i've had this Nashville trip, even though it was work related, but I knew about it months ago. Yeah. For it, and so. Oh yeah, I'm a big time planner. I'm not a get up and go travel no. randomly type person. No. Unless it's for work, but that rarely happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like having some some advance notice for yeah. sure. So. Yeah. So maybe one of these days, hopefully next year, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you all again. We love you all so much. Yes, we love you. We do. We hope you all enjoyed this episode. And yes. have a wonderful night. And we will see you next time. Magic for Normies in two weeks. We'll be back yeah, on our regular yeah, Thursday night. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so that'll be, what day, the 26th? Um, right? Yeah, the 26th will be our next episode. Ooh, and that's when I'll have my preview card out. Too. Ooh, baby. We can talk say. about it we too. We can talk about it. We can yes. talk both of them. Yes, both of our we can cards. talk about them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. We're out of here. Have a good night, everybody. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.
Bye.